Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. Sailing, Weapon Fruit, I Rub the Flow Blade with My Hands. Chapter 1. The night fell, the stars twinkled, as if countless dreams were burning in the darkness, illuminating the great route. At this time, in the Naval Academy, a figure stood in the dormitory corridor, using the Milky Way as a light, looking at the cherry trees on both sides of the walkway downstairs, his eyes gradually lost in thought. Have I traveled through time? Although my last name is not Monkey or Gaul, and I have nothing to do with the Celestial Dragons, being a student of the Zephyr class is also a good start. But, what is this weapon fruit? Rosen's mind was full of thoughts. Just a few minutes ago, he suddenly woke up from his sleep and awakened his wisdom from his previous life. A lot of memories about his past life and everything in the pirate world rushed into his mind, causing him to feel a pain in his brow, so he came out to get some fresh air and sort out the complicated memories. The weapon fruit is to turn any part of the body into a weapon, which is okay. Although it's not a natural system, nor a mythical beast, it's better than being naked. But isn't this the devil fruit possessed by a woman named Baby 5 one of Doflamingo's subordinates? Could it be that if I hadn't awakened my wisdom, I would have died soon, and this weapon fruit would have fallen into Baby 5s hands? Could it be that Doflamingo killed me? Rosen's heart tightened. Originally, he knew that he was not in the same class as Ein and Bins, and he didn't have to face Edward Weeble's attack, so he was relieved, but now he couldn't relax at all. Even if this was just a guess, he didn't want to try out the truth of such a good thing as traveling through time. The Naval Academy is a one-year program. That means I have at most one year left before I will be randomly assigned to one of the four seas or Grand Line branches by the Navy headquarters. Even if I encounter Doflamingo, this is just my personal guess. But after graduating from the military academy, if I am assigned to a branch in the New World, I will sooner or later encounter Doflamingo, no, a monster that is more terrifying than Doflamingo. By then, what can I do to face the monsters in the New World? Just a weapon fruit. Thinking of this, Rosen suddenly felt annoyed. If he had eaten a mythical beast or a natural one, let alone a guess, he would not panic if he really had to face Doflamingo or even a monster stronger than Doflamingo in a year. But the problem is that he ate a superhuman weapon fruit. It was even more annoying when he thought that the weapon fruit in Baby Five's hands could only produce some sparse and ordinary weapons. The devil fruit that came with the time travel is not like Blackbeard's physique, so there is no way to change it. Whoosh. Just when Rosen was upset, a cool night breeze suddenly blew, like invisible hands, caressing the cherry trees planted around the dormitory. The branches swayed and the cherry blossoms fell. In an instant, it was like thousands of elves dancing in front of him. Not only did it dispel the anger in his heart, but it also gave rise to an idea. Sakura. If my weapon fruit can be transformed into a Zanpakuto, even if it is just a thousand cherry blossoms, it will definitely not be worse than the devil fruits of the natural system and the mythical beasts. Don Quixote da Flamingo is even less of a concern. Rosen thought to himself. Huh. Just as he exhaled a breath and spit out the boredom in his heart, the eyes suddenly darkened. The starry sky disappeared. The dormitory disappeared. The scene in front of him blurred slightly and turned into a huge suspension bridge, on which stood a man wearing a Shinigami uniform, like a nobleman. His cold eyes pierced like a knife into the body of a sturdy man on the suspension bridge in front of him. Really? You are from the Shiba family. If that's the case, I'm sorry for letting you go just now. The nobleman like Shinigami held the knife in one hand and moved in front of him. Scatter, Senbon Sakura. As soon as the words fell. Clang clang. The blade of the Zanpakuto in his hand burst into a cold purple light, and then from the tip of the blade, it spread out section by section, turning into a small, beautiful and dangerous blade like cherry blossoms, flying in all directions. There was a sturdy man standing on the suspension bridge. However, facing the flying thousand cherry blossoms and countless cherry blossom blades dancing like elves, he could only stare with his eyes wide open, tense his whole body, and do nothing. Helplessly allowing the cherry blossom blades from all directions to attack. Then, thousands of cuts. Blood pouring. Puff. As the sound of sharp blades entering flesh rang out, the scene in front of him, whether it was the suspension bridge, the man in the death suit, or the fluttering thousand cherry blossoms, or even the man who was cut by the thousand cherry blossoms, all shattered and disappeared. 
The night sky and the stars returned again. The cherry blossom trees standing on both sides of the dormitory were still swaying their branches in the breeze, raising waves of cherry blossoms falling. Is it an illusion? Rosen stared at the scene in front of him in a daze. Just when he once doubted whether everything he had just experienced was an illusion, a voice, no, it was like a thought that emerged in his mind, emerged out of thin air. Your comprehension is against the sky. Through visualization of your own understanding, combined with the superhuman weapon fruit, you have comprehended the exclusive skill, thousand cherry blossoms. Rosen's heart was shocked. Senban Sakura. This is the Zanpakuto of Yakuya Kuchiki in the world of Death God. Maybe not the strongest, but definitely the coolest. After Shikai, he can control thousands of blades in a single thought, both offensively and defensively. Needless to say, Bankai, one Bankai skill after another, all with full beauty and power. Especially in the Thousand Year Blood War, after Shikai, Senban Sakura's number of cherry blades can even catch up with the previous Bankai, as for after Bankai, needless to say. The number of cherry blades is so many that it cannot be counted. So, this is my cheat. Rosen murmured in his heart. Whether it is the students of Zephyr class or the weapon fruit that comes with the time travel, they are not his cheats. The comprehension is against the genius. With this cheat, even in Baby Five's hands, the weapon fruit with super ordinary performance can still bloom with amazing power. Hand rubbing Zanpakuto. Senban Sakura. Is the best example. Wait. After gaining the innate wisdom, since I can use the weapon fruit to rub Senban Sakura, can I also rub other Zanpakuto? Rosen suddenly thought of something. The weapon fruit can not only produce one kind of weapon. Similarly, he should not be able to rub only one kind of Zanpakuto. In a moment, Ryujin Jaka, Kyoka Suigetsu, Hyarinmaru, Zanjetsu, Benihime, God Spear. The familiar names of Zanpakuto, like volcanic eruptions and magma gushing out, erupted in his mind one after another. Weapon fruit. This seems to be a good start. Rosen reached out and grabbed a piece of cherry blossom petal flying in the wind, and the corners of his lips slightly raised. At this moment, he no longer had the confusion and uneasiness he had just experienced when he crossed over, and all he had was the expectation for his future. The next day, when Rosen woke up, the first thing he did was to focus his mind slightly, and then a line of text suddenly jumped out of his eyes. Senban Sakura, exclusive skill, you have an extraordinary understanding, and you can comprehend the exclusive skill by visualizing your Zanpakuto and combining it with the weapon fruit. In a moment, the sword turns into thousands. Weapon fruit is required. Rosen retracted his gaze. This was the first time he felt how good it was to travel through time and space with a weapon fruit. If there was no weapon fruit, even if he had an extraordinary understanding, he could only stare blankly and could not use the exclusive skill of Senban Sakura. Because this skill must be used with the weapon fruit. Without the weapon fruit, he would not have been able to rub the Senban Sakura with his hands. Weapon fruit. It smells so good. After Rosen praised the weapon fruit again, he walked out of the dormitory and followed the instructions in his memory to the cafeteria of the Naval Academy to have breakfast. In addition to himself, he found that there were many people in the cafeteria. There were staff members of the military academy and students like him. Ten minutes later, Rosen got up and left the cafeteria, walking towards the teaching building. During this time, there were also many students coming out of the cafeteria. But they soon separated. The Naval Academy is divided into classes, not one, two, and three classes, but just different in numbers, but ordinary classes and special classes. Among them, the special class is also called Zephyr class. It is taught by Zephyr, the chief instructor of the Naval Academy and former admiral of the Navy. Zephyr class. The people there are either geniuses or fruit ability users. It's true that people have different fates. Seeing Rosen walking towards the direction of the Zephyr class, many students in the ordinary classes couldn't help but envy. That's the Zephyr class. Although it doesn't have any special features, what the Zephyr class teaches, the ordinary classes will also teach, it's just that there is an extra guarantee. That is, after graduation, the guaranteed rank of colonel. Yes. Students who graduate from the Zephyr class will be colonels of the headquarters at least in the future unless they are unlucky and die in battle. This is the guarantee, there is no lower. On the other side, 
Rosen also came to the door of the Zephyr class. He looked inside and found that many people had come to the classroom. He could even recognize familiar and unfamiliar faces among these people. Smoking two cigars at the same time, with an arrogant and ferocious look on his face. Pink-haired beauty, heroic and confident. Smoker. Hina. And that. Rosen's eyes lingered on the cigar man and the pink-haired girl, and he was dragged over by two men and women who were as tall as admirals. The man had a capybara face and squinty eyes, revealing a vulgarity no less than Borsellino. The woman had a beautiful face, a pair of G's in her chest, and a beauty spot at the corner of her mouth. The most eye-catching thing was that she had two legs that were longer than Heine's height, but it didn't affect the overall proportion at all. By the way, Heine's naked height is 1.9 meters. Kaji. Gion. Future admiral candidate. Rosen retracted his gaze and thought to himself. He didn't expect his classmates to be so awesome. Two admiral candidates. One natural science department. There are others whose names he can't remember. This class alone will be able to sweep almost all pirate groups except the four emperors in the future. Not only Rosen, but also Gion, Cake, and Smoker in the classroom were looking at the people around them. After all, they would be together day and night in the coming year. Whether out of curiosity or caution, they would naturally observe the people around them more. Shortly after Rosen took his seat, several more students came in one after another, and soon filled up all the remaining seats. Suddenly. Dong. A deafening bell sounded suddenly, and everyone in the classroom was refreshed, and then they heard footsteps coming from their ears. From far to near. Almost at the same time, everyone looked towards the door of the classroom. I saw a man wearing a coat of justice, with muscles like rocks and a body like an iron tower standing at the door. His eyes were like lightning, and he looked around the classroom, like a general inspecting his territory. Nice to meet you. My name is Zepha. You can call me Teacher Zepha or Instructor Zepha. In the coming year, I will teach you how to become an excellent Marine. Zephal glanced at every student in the classroom, and then he strode to the on the podium, after a brief self-introduction, he made a shocking statement. Before that, first of all, you must understand one thing, what kind of navy is excellent. That is to have a monster's physique, a steel will, and a domineering attitude that overrides everything. No matter what race you come from, whether you are a devil fruit user, only if you have the above conditions can you shoulder the weight of, absolute justice. He picked up the chalk and wrote the four characters of, iron painting and silver hook, on the blackboard behind him. Absolute justice. Then, Zephyr slapped the blackboard hard, his eyes widened, and a powerful momentum like a sea of corpses and blood swept over, making the students in the whole classroom change their faces and tense up. Is this the weight of a former admiral of the navy? Rosen's pupils shrank, and his heart was shocked. At this time, he only felt that Zepha in his sight was no longer a person, but a monster standing on the top of the sea. What's more terrifying is that this monster is still staring at him. Physique and will are not achieved overnight, they can only be forged through training and fighting day and night. So, the first lesson I will teach you today is hockey. As a hero who became a Navy Admiral through physical skills in hockey, Zephyr undoubtedly attaches the highest importance to hockey. The first lesson is about hockey. What is hockey? Hockey means that when you face a natural ability user's elementalization, you can grab his body. Hockey means that when you face a strange superhuman ability user, you can suppress his ability. Hockey that is, when you face an animal type ability user with a physique like a monster, you can fight him with your fists and feet. Quote. This kind of domineering aura called armament hockey is hidden in the body of each of you. You were born with it, but you have never realized it. Now, all you have to do is know it, find it, and then use it. Just like driving your hands and feet, turn the domineering aura into your limbs. While talking about armament hockey, Zephyr raised his arm and released a stream of purple light, which wrapped around his fist. Clang. Accompanied by the sound of metal clashing, his fist hardened into black, as if he was wearing a steel glove. Seeing this scene, some people frowned some frowned, and some thought seriously. After Zepha told how to awaken armament hockey in his own experience, he stopped talking and just stood on the podium with his hands folded across his chest, quietly observing the changes of each student. Know it. Find it. Use it. 
Rosen muttered to himself, and the scene of Zephy using armament hockey just now kept appearing in his mind. Like a movie, it kept playing over and over again. You have a supernatural understanding. Through Zephy's explanation of the essence of hockey, combined with the experience of past and present lives, you have comprehended the exclusive skill, Hockey Ultra Intention. Hockey Ultra Intention. Infuse your own consciousness into hockey, and you can freely control the hockey in your body at will, and the control of hockey reaches a subtle level. Requires supernatural understanding. Suddenly, a piece of information appeared in his brain. The more you understand, the more you will understand. You have an extraordinary understanding. Through Zephyr's explanation of the essence of domineering, combined with the experiences of past and present lives, you have realized your exclusive skill, domineering ultimate intention. Domineering ultimate intention, infuse your own consciousness into domineering, and you can freely control the domineering in your body at will, and the control of domineering reaches a subtle level. Needs extraordinary understanding. Rosen's heart was shocked. Domineering ultimate intention, infuse consciousness into domineering, so as to achieve the effect of free control. Isn't this the domineering version of life return? I just don't know how effective it is. Thinking of this, Rosen's mind moved, and his consciousness began to sink into his body. His vision first became extremely dark, but as his consciousness continued to sink, he gradually saw a faint light. His consciousness followed the light, and after getting closer and closer, he finally saw three light balls in the deepest part of his body, like light bulbs in the dark night. One was flowing like a tide. One was like black and red lightning. One was like a huge eye. Is this the domineering aura I was born with? Wait. Three light balls, three colors of domineering, so I have the domineering aura that only one person among millions of people has. Rosen was ecstatic. Although it is possible to become a top powerhouse in the sea without domineering aura, the three admirals are the best examples, but only with domineering aura can one become the top handful among many top powerhouses. That is the so-called king such as Roger, Whitebeard, Kaido, Shanks and other kings. The aptitude to become a king is innate. If you have it, you have it. If you don't have it, you don't have it. It can't be changed. And now he actually has such aptitude, so of course he is happy about it. Just try it and you'll know. Rosen suppressed his ecstasy and poured his consciousness into the light ball like flowing water. When his consciousness was completely poured into the light ball, he not only understood what this light ball represented, but also had a feeling that he could control this light ball at will. It was more flexible than controlling his hands and feet. As his thoughts turned, the light ball poured into his consciousness was like a dam with the gates opened, and the streams of light rushed to his limbs like a torrent. On the other side, Zepha was still observing every student in the classroom. Suddenly, his face changed, as if he noticed something, and he turned his head sharply, staring at a student sitting in the back row with a knife-like gaze. Rosen. A person who has eaten the superhuman weapon fruit. As soon as the identity information of Rosen popped up in Zephyr's mind, his eyes widened suddenly, as if he had seen something incredible. Under his gaze, Rosen's body suddenly burst into a burst of purple light, and then formed purple streams, like purple dragons, entwined around his body. Then. Clang. A sound of metal clashing sounded. The students in the classroom were so shocked that they looked around and followed the sound. Zephyr's eyebrows jumped violently. How is that possible? What the hell? Just like what Mr. Zephyr demonstrated, has he already mastered armament hockey? Not only that, Mr. Zephyr only wrapped hockey around his hands, but he has already hardened his entire body. How long has it been? Could it be that he learned armament hockey a long time ago? Looking at Rosen's skin, which was like black iron and exuded an indestructible aura, both Gion and Cake, the two future general candidates, and Smoker, who had little interest in hockey, showed expressions of disbelief. I just found a little clue. If everything goes well, it will probably take another day to master armament hockey. Has this man already reached this point? Gion stared at Rosen deeply, and a glimmer of light flashed in his beautiful eyes. Who says women are inferior to men? She has been determined to become the first female admiral in the history of the Navy since she was a child. In addition to her sister-like relationship with Crane and the hero Garp, these legendary Navy men all praised her for not only having the height of an admiral, but also the qualifications of an admiral. 
This also made her vision very high. Unless they are admiral-level navy, or navy with the qualities of an admiral, ordinary people are simply not worth looking at. I didn't expect that in addition to Kaji, there is such a person in the class. She is far ahead of me and Kaji. Sister Suru and Vice Admiral Garp both praised me for my ability as a general. If that's true, then what is he? Gion's heart was filled with shock. This guy is awesome. I haven't even found hockey yet, but you've already achieved entanglement hardening, and it's all over your body. Tisk, tisk, that's amazing. Kaji gave Rosen a thumbs up, without any jealousy in his tone, but only admiration. Those three balls of light really represent three kinds of hockey. In that case, the remaining two are observation hockey and conqueror hockey. Faced with Kaji's praise, Rosen just nodded at the other party, with a calm attitude. After successively comprehending the two exclusive skills of Senban Sakura and Hockey Ultra Instinct, especially after the awakening of Armament Hockey, his mentality gradually changed. He was no longer as startled as when he first crossed over. Instead, he was thinking about the other two kinds of hockey. Have you ever learned hockey before? At this time, Zepha walked up to Rosen. The name hockey was told to me by Zepha Sensei just now. Rosen put away his thoughts for the time being. Great. Zepha had been observing Rosen, and even used his observation hockey to sense the other party's emotions and psychological changes. He was basically sure that the student in front of him was indeed in contact with hockey for the first time. I thought Borsalino, Sakaski, and Kuzan were already good enough, but I didn't expect there would be even better ones. Back then, it took the three of them a day to master the entanglement hardening of armament hockey. In you, half an hour. Zephyr's voice was a little more amazed. Since he retired and became the chief instructor, he has seen countless geniuses. Even the monsters with the capacity of a general, there are as many as three. But now, he found that there were actually people who could still lead the achievements left by the three generals in those days, how could he not be surprised? Isn't this a monster? It's a monster. Didn't you hear that when Mr. Sakaski and his classmates were in the Naval Academy? They also took a day to master the entanglement and hardening of armament hockey, but this guy took half an hour. If he wasn't a monster, how could he do such an incredible thing? When Zepha said that Rosen's performance was even ahead of the three admirals in the past, there was an uproar in the classroom. Silence. What you should do is not to surprise others, but to focus on yourself. Remember, hockey is an external manifestation of willpower, so unshakable faith is the foundation of hockey. Seeing that the classroom was a little noisy, Zepha glared, and all the students shut up immediately, but when they looked at Rosen, their eyes were still full of shock. Know it. Find it. Use it. Except for Gion and Cake, everyone still stayed in the category of knowing hockey. But what about Rosen? I have already crossed the two levels of knowing domineering and finding domineering, and have reached the realm of using domineering. It's like we all started school together in the first grade. I just opened the first grade textbook, but you have already opened the senior high school textbook. How can I not be shocked? The enemy was killed, and the enemy's body was broken. Hardening the whole body is only suitable for dealing with some ranged attacks that cannot be avoided. When fighting pirates, remember not to do this. Hardening the whole body will increase the consumption of domineering, unless the domineering is wasted, it is meaningless. Zepha looked Rosen up and down, then his right hand popped out like lightning and pointed at Rosen's neck. Bang. As a former admiral of the navy, although he has retired and has not been in battle for a long time, his vision, experience, consciousness, etc. have not disappeared with retirement. His finger, the force just defeated Rosen's armed color domineering wrapped around his body, but did not hurt his clone. Even after being hit by a finger, Rosen was still sitting on the chair and was not knocked away. Look, if you use all the armament hockey that you use to harden your whole body to harden your neck, your defense will at least be improved by one level. You won't be broken up by my blow. Zephyr retracted his finger. I'm learning from you. Thank you, Mr. Zephyr. Rosen was shocked when he heard this, and he thought of Virgo first. If the other party had only used his whole body's hockey to harden one area when facing Trafalgar Law in Punk Hasadeli, he wouldn't have been killed by a single blow. You call me Mr. Zephyr, then I have the responsibility to teach you well. Zephyr waved his hand, 
first scanning the students in the classroom who were still struggling to find armament hockey, and after a little thought, he said something shocking. From today on, you don't have to go to class with others. As soon as this was said, the whole audience was shocked. Naturally, this included Rosen. Why? Rosen's face remained unchanged. In other places, he would still worry about encountering the situation that the tree that stands out in the forest will be destroyed by the wind, but in the Naval Academy, especially in Zephyr's class, there is no need to worry at all. On the contrary, the more outstanding he is, the happier Zephyr is. It is unfair to a genius to let a genius study with a group of ordinary people. The same applies. It is also unfair to monsters to let a monster study with a group of geniuses. Zephyr looked at Rosen and said word by word. Rosen was silent when he heard it. He understood what Zephyr meant. It's like throwing Gion and Kaji from Zephyr's class into the ordinary class. These two people mastered the entanglement hardening of the armed color in one day, while other students need half a year or even several years to master it. Then, for a long time in the future, Gion and Kaji will not make any progress. It's not that they have run out of ideas, but that the teachers in the ordinary class are still repeatedly explaining the key points of entanglement hardening, or conducting domineering training in entanglement hardening. But Gion and Cake have already mastered these things, and no matter how many classes they attend or how much they study, it is just a waste of time. But it is different in Zephyr's class. It is not just the difference in teachers, but also the difference in teaching methods. The same is true. Now Rosen is in the same situation in Zephyr's class. He mastered the armament hockey hardening coil in half an hour, while Smoker has not even awakened hockey, and even Gion and Cake, who have the ability of a general, have not mastered hockey. In other words, if he continues to stay in Zephyr's class and continue to take the same classes as Smoker, he is also wasting his time. Rosen. Starting from now on, I will open another class for you. You don't have to come to this classroom anymore. I will take time out to teach you one by one. Zephyr's words were like a typhoon in the classroom. What? Smoker, Hina and others were shocked after hearing this. Why are students in Zephyr's class so envied by students in other classes? It's not just that they are guaranteed the rank of colonel, but more importantly, they can get the instruction of former Navy Admiral Zephyr. But what about now? Zepha actually set up another class specifically for Rosen to provide one-on-one -on -one special instruction. The treatment is once again very different. This is no longer the treatment of instructors and students in the Navy school, but the treatment of real teachers and disciples. Don't say that I favor Rosen, and don't say that I don't give you a chance. Just for today. Whoever can master the entanglement and hardening of the armed color domineering before the school bell rings, I will make an exception and let him enter this newly established class. Zephyr saw the envy of everyone, so he directly used Rosen as an example to further stimulate the student's fighting spirit. Especially. He seemed to be not. He glanced at Gion and Kaji casually. Learn to be wrapped in armament hockey in one day. For 99% of the people in this sea, it is impossible. Only those monsters with the ability of a general can do it. He had taught Borsalino, Sakuski, and Kuzan. From the moment he stepped into the classroom, he had noticed Gion and Kaji. He saw the shadows of Borsalino and others on the two. In other words, Zephyr's words seemed to be said to the students in the whole classroom, but in fact he was only speaking to Gion and Kaji. As for others, like Smoker, even if Zephyr made an exception and let him be in the same class with Rosen, it would only make Smoker feel desperate. The classmates around him made rapid progress, but he was standing still. Suffering such blows every day, over time, the destruction of self-confidence is devastating. One day, Gion clenched his hands into fists, and a trace of heat flashed in his eyes. If she wanted to master the entanglement hardening in half an hour like Rosen, she knew that she would never be able to do it, but if it was a day, she was still confident that she could do it. Because she had already taken the first step that Zeppa said. Knowing hockey, finding hockey, and using hockey. Currently, she is at the second step, finding hockey. It seems that I am not without a chance. Kaji thought secretly. Who with the capacity of a general would be willing to admit that he is weaker than others? Even if he saw Rosen ahead of him with his own eyes, he simply thought that Rosen was faster than him in learning hockey, but his strength was not certain. Huo Shaoshan. Come over. Take over for me. 
Zef took out the Den Den Mushi and called Huo Shaoshan, who was still a major general at the headquarters. Compared with the tough and iron-blooded Doberman and Ghost Spider, who were also major generals, Huo Shaoshan's personality was much gentler. Usually, when they were not on duty, he would call them to substitute for classes or serve as assistants. Soon, Huo Shaoshan rushed to the classroom after receiving Zefa's call. After arriving at the classroom, he immediately looked at Rosen. Apparently, Zefa had told him about Rosen on the phone before. Are they more perverted monsters than Sakuski? There are such people in this world. I can't imagine it. Huo Shaoshan looked at Rosen and couldn't hide the surprise in his eyes. It was already a great thing for the Naval Academy to have another student with the capacity of an admiral. What about now? How could he not be shocked when a super monster with capacity surpassed that of an admiral appeared? The teacher said that the teacher was very busy. Rosen. Come with me. After calling Huo Shaoshan to take over the class, Zefa immediately called Rosen and followed him to a room with several wooden man-like instruments, but they were made of steel. This is the instrument made by the monitor of the Navy Science class, Begabank, to test the Dow force value. The upper limit is 10,000. With it, students can clearly see their own progress in the early stage. Zefa pointed to a Dow force device. Now all you have to do is use your domineering power and hit the Dow force device with all your strength. He crossed his arms and looked at Rosen. Okay. Quote. Upon hearing this, Rosen immediately poured his consciousness into the domineering aura, wrapping all the armed color domineering aura in his body around his right arm, hardening his fist and forearm together. Then, he rushed forward, his spine like a bowstring, his fist like a sharp arrow, and struck out brazenly. Bang! As the fist hit the Dow Force device, a string of numbers suddenly jumped out of a small display screen on it. 260. Not bad, according to the world government, if you learn six styles and your Dao Force exceeds 500, you will be a superman. You lack offensive physical skills now, but with the newly awakened armed color domineering aura, you can still hit 260 Dao Force in one blow, which is equivalent to half a superman. By the way, a well-trained marine has only about 10 Dao Force when picking up a weapon. Zef talked about the value of 260 Dao Force. Do you understand? This is the power and value of domineering aura. Quote. Zepha said with a serious face. Obviously. The purpose of letting Rosen throw this punch is to make Rosen pay attention to hockey. I understand, Mr. Zepha. Rosen nodded. He knew the importance of hockey without Zepha telling him. After Zepha's personal experience, he felt the value of hockey even more personally. He himself didn't even know the six styles, but he had just awakened armament hockey. With the absolute control of armament hockey by Ultra Instinct, he blasted out half of Superman's Dao power. This is armament hockey. If I use thousand cherry blossoms and wrap armament hockey around it, I wonder how much Dao power it will have. At this time, an idea came to Rosen's mind. Rub thousand cherry blossoms with your hands, and then put on armament hockey. This is the correct way to open the fruit ability. I understand. Then, there is one more thing. Quote. Zephar loosened his hands around his chest, then clenched his five fingers, and his armed color domineering aura wrapped around and hardened. His fist was like a dark cannonball, and he punched out. Bang! The air in front of the fist seemed to be compressed to the extreme, and then it could not bear the weight and exploded. Crack! A materialized domineering impact burst out from his fist, hitting the Dow Force device through the air, and directly blasted the Dow Force device with a test upper limit of 10,000 into a discus. Do you understand? Zephar turned his head and looked at Rosen. Flowing outward. Quote. Rosen's eyes lit up, but his heart was very calm. With his extraordinary understanding, the moment he comprehended the Ultra Instinct, he was able to control the armament hockey at will. That is to say. Entanglement, hardening, external release, and internal destruction. He can use these four techniques after seeing them once, and even, with a little exploration, he can use them proficiently in less than a few minutes. This is the value of the Ultra Instinct. Just as Life Return can control the body at will, Rosen can control the armament hockey at will and use various techniques after infusing his consciousness into the armament hockey with the Ultra Instinct. Not bad. It's the flow and external release. This is also the third armament hockey technique that I want to teach you. Zef nodded at first, but immediately shook his head. 
But that's not all. Look at the Dao power device. Quote. What is the difference between my punch and yours, except for the technique of flowing and releasing? He looked at Rosen with a burning gaze. There are different levels of armament hockey skills, but they represent the strength of armament hockey, not the strength. Rosen's mind turned, and he immediately thought of the knowledge point that Zeffa wanted to understand. Not bad. In addition to entanglement hardening and flowing and releasing, armament hockey also has the technique of internal destruction, but even if you learn all four techniques. It just means that your armament hockey can be used in many ways. Quote. Just like a sword, you can chop, stab, and pick, but no matter how you use it, the hardness and sharpness of the sword itself will not change. Zeph's eyes flashed with satisfaction. Don't be superstitious about the techniques of armament hockey, you should focus on improving the strength of armament hockey. Take you and me for example, even if you use four armament hockey techniques, I only use the most basic entanglement, and I can still kill you in one punch. This is the quality gap between you and me in armament hockey, which cannot be made up by any technique. He said word by word. I will remember your advice. Teacher Zephyr. Quote. Rosen nodded seriously. He agreed with Zephyr's statement. Wong Luffy is the best example. Observation hockey can foresee the future. Armament hockey can entangle, harden, release and destroy internally. The conqueror hockey of the shining god can also entangle. In the end, he still couldn't beat Teacher Kai. In the final analysis, in addition to the difference in physique, the most important thing is the difference in the strength of hockey. In terms of skills, Wang Luffy has caught up with Teacher Kai, but he has not caught up with the quality of hockey. Go. Practice the flow release first, and then I will teach you internal destruction. After you have mastered all four techniques of using armament hockey, I will teach you how to improve the strength of armament hockey. Quote. Zephar was just about to tell about the technique of flowing external release and the tips for learning it, but Rosen didn't expect Rosen to raise his hand and extend a hand. Swoosh. Accompanied by the sound of breaking through the air, a domineering shock wave burst out from his fingertips and hit a Dao power device not far away. Of course, he didn't smash the Dao power device through the air like Zephyr did, but only hit a Dao power value of 260. Sure enough. Just like what teacher Zephyr said, the technique of armament color is not equal to strength. Whether it is using hardening wrapping or flowing external release, the Dao power value is the same. Seeing this scene, Rosen couldn't help but sigh that it is good to have a famous teacher to guide, and there is no possibility of taking a detour. You, have learned flowing external release. Quote. Zephyr's eyes widened in shock. As a former admiral of the navy, he knew very well that the flow release was much more difficult to learn than the winding hardening, both of which were skills in the use of armament hockey. But he had only thrown a punch, and the student in front of him had already mastered it, and there was no awkwardness in using it, but it gave people a feeling of years of immersion. I've learned it. Rosen nodded. Not just the flow release. Even the internal destruction that you just mentioned, Mr. Zeffa. I've learned it too. Before Zeffa could speak, he made another shocking statement. Impossible. As soon as Zeffa finished speaking, he heard a sound of metal breaking not far away. Crack. He turned his head and saw that the Dowley device that Rosen had just used armament hockey to attack from a distance was actually shattering inside, and at the same time, the number 260 on the display was becoming blurred and finally disappeared. Internal destruction. Quote. I've never used it in front of you. How did you do it? Zepha murmured. Entanglement, hardening, external release, internal destruction. In one class, Rosen learned all four techniques of armament hockey. Especially the most advanced armament hockey technique, internal destruction, which he actually figured out by himself. The test limit of the Dao power device is 10,000. With Rosen's Dao power value of 260, it is impossible to exceed the upper limit of the Dao power device, but not exceeding the upper limit of the Dao power device does not mean that the Dao power device cannot be destroyed. The armament hockey penetrates the surface of the Dao power device, enters its interior, and destroys the parts inside. The Dao power value of 260 can still destroy the Dao power device with a test upper limit of 10,000. Zephyr naturally saw this, so he was so shocked. I saw that you just mentioned that besides entanglement and hardening, flowing and releasing armament hockey, there is a fourth technique. Internal destruction. Then, when I release armament hockey, 
I try to manipulate it to pass through the surface of the object and directly destroy the inside. Seeing Zephyr's expression of seeing a ghost, Rosen could only explain. I just said internal destruction. You practiced the fourth technique of armament hockey by yourself. Zepha was so surprised that his mouth opened. It's like you said an atomic bomb to someone, and then the other person really rubbed an atomic bomb with his hands. That's about it. But it's not all my own practice. If it weren't for Zepha's internal destruction, I wouldn't know that armament hockey could be used like this, so Zepha's teacher taught me well. Rosen nodded slightly. Zepha blushed when he heard this. He has always been incomparably proud of his teaching ability. After all, he had taught three candidates for the rank of admiral, and they were the kind of monsters who would definitely be promoted to admiral. If anyone else said that he taught well, Zepha would definitely accept it calmly. But facing Rosen, Zepha was really embarrassed to say that this was the reason why he taught well. He knew very well that even if a marine who knew how to use armament hockey taught Rosen in the new world, the final result would be no different from that of him, the general. Rosen's talent in practicing hockey was so high that he could ignore the teaching level of the teacher. When a marine came to teach, he learned all the armament hockey entanglement, hardening, external release and internal destruction in one class. When a general came to teach, he also learned all the armament hockey entanglement, hardening, external release and internal destruction in one class. What's wrong? Did you accidentally hurt yourself when practicing armament hockey? Zeph was about to say something, but found that Rosen frowned slightly, and hurried forward to ask with concern. This is a general, no, a potential marshal. If Sengoku knew that he had injured such a potential marshal while teaching, he would probably come to the Naval Academy with the Tathagata Palm. No, I just had a sudden thought. Can't armament hockey destroy the inside? If the enemy also has this skill and attacks me like this, how should I deal with it? Teacher Zepha, what do you think? Rosen shook his head and asked Zepha for advice. He thought of the fight between Teacher Kai and King Luffy. Both of them have mastered the advanced technique of armament hockey, such as internal destruction, but when facing each other's attacks, it seems that they can only choose to take the damage from each other. The only thing that can counter armament hockey is armament hockey. If the enemy uses the technique of internal destruction, then you can only release armament hockey to offset it before the opponent's armament hockey touches your body. But the battle changes rapidly, and you are attacked by the enemy, which proves that you can't react at all. How can you have enough time to mobilize the completely equivalent armament hockey in an instant and then release it to offset it? If you can do it, then you have enough time to dodge the enemy's attack and won't be hit at all. As a former admiral of the navy, Zepha gave an answer without hesitation when facing Rosen's inquiry. So, you can only take the damage. Rosen frowned even more tightly. He ate the weapon fruit, not the azure dragon, let alone Nika. There is no such thick blood bar, and no such durable defense. Have you forgotten? What was the first thing I said in class? It's not enough to have a domineering aura that overrides everything. You must also have a monster's physique and a steel will. Zepha glanced at Rosen. The meaning is self-evident. A monster's physique is too. To take the damage of internal destruction. After all, you still have to bear it hard. Teacher Zepha. Is there no other way? When Rosen heard this, his brows furrowed even more. Unless you don't care about the consumption of domineering during the battle, and use domineering to harden your whole body at all times, but the domineering is dispersed throughout the body, and the defense will inevitably decrease. The enemy can still break the defense if it only attacks one area of you. Even if you do this, the opponent who could have won will lose because of your excessive consumption of domineering. Zepha shook his head. Don't think about it. You are worried about the enemy's internal destruction, and the enemy is also worried about your internal destruction. Instead of worrying about these, it is better to train your body and physical skills well. In this way, you can directly injure the enemy before he makes a move. He spread his hands. Rosen shook his head secretly, thinking that Zephyr's method is not good. It's okay to bully the weak. Facing an opponent of the same level, who can guarantee to co the opponent with one blow? Take Mr. Kai for example. Who can clear Mr. Kai's health bar with one blow? Big Mom. Red hair or Whitebeard. The three of them together might be able to do it. Don't think about these nonsense. 
Anyway, as far as I know, there is currently no means in the Grand Line that can effectively resist internal damage. Entanglement, hardening, or external release techniques are not effective. No matter whether it is the four emperors or the admirals, they cannot effectively defend against attacks from the inside of the body. Seeing Rosen frowning, Zephyr shouted, fearing that the other party would get stuck in a dead end. Entanglement, hardening, and external release are all useless. In that case, can I create a kind of domineering technique that is specifically used to fight against internal destruction? Teacher Zeffa also said that only armament hockey can fight armament hockey, and techniques such as entanglement and hardening were created by predecessors, which means that there was no internal destruction before, but someone thought of it later, so it came into being. Thinking of this, Rosen's consciousness began to sink, and the armament hockey that was poured into his body was rolled into a round and flattened, trying to find a shape, trying to find a technique that can be used specifically to fight against the enemy's internal destruction. As the armament hockey continued to change in his body, his mind gradually emptied and completely merged with the armament hockey. No one noticed. His armament hockey actually began to slowly pour into the blood vessels, and circulated throughout the body with the flow of blood. You have a natural understanding, taking the four armament hockey techniques as the foundation, combining the domineering power, bringing forth new ideas, and comprehending the armament hockey exclusive skill, static blood suit. Still blood suit. Use the absolute control of armament hockey by ultra instinct to inject hockey into blood vessels, and evolve into substantial defense, greatly improving the defense inside and outside the body, and effectively defending against the ability to destroy from the inside of the body. Ultimate hockey is required. If others practice it, it will cause permanent damage to blood vessels throughout the body. Suddenly, a line of information jumped out of his mind, waking Rosen from deep thought. The more you learn, the more you will be able to do it. You have an extraordinary understanding. You use the four techniques of armament hockey as the foundation, combine them with the ultimate instinct, and innovate to comprehend the exclusive skill of armament hockey, static blood suit. Still blood suit. With the absolute control of armament hockey by ultimate instinct, you can inject hockey into the blood vessels to evolve the substantial defense, greatly improve the defense inside and outside the body, and effectively defend against attacks that damage the body inside and outside. Ultimate instinct is required. If others practice it, it will cause permanent damage to the blood vessels throughout the body. Rosen was delighted. It's not just because he has realized the unprecedented fifth armament hockey technique, which can effectively resist internal destruction, but also because he realized the value of this exclusive skill of Ultra Instinct. If he doesn't know Ultra Instinct, even if he encounters monsters with extremely high talents such as Luffy, Teacher Kai, and Shanks in the future, they will not be able to learn it by themselves after seeing him use the static blood suit. Unless he is willing to teach the other party this skill of Ultra Instinct. This means that Rosen is far ahead of any strong person in the field of armament hockey. If he encounters an opponent who doesn't know conqueror hockey, even if the strength of armament hockey is almost the same, he can only win, not lose. After all, others only have four techniques, but he has five. When facing his internal destruction, others can only use their health bars to take the damage, while he can use the static blood suit to defend and offset it. This is a decline, and he has already won half the battle before the fight. Rosen. Seeing that Rosen seemed to be completely immersed in his own world and that he could not wake him up after several calls, Zephyr could not help but take action. I heard it. Teacher Zephyr. What do you want to do? Hurry up and retract your black wrist. Rosen came back to his senses and saw Zephyr twisting his fist wrapped with armament hockey, preparing to hit him with a black wrist, so he quickly stepped back and raised his hand. Even if he created the fifth armament hockey technique that has never been seen in the Grand Line, he, a newbie who has just embarked on the hockey path, can't withstand the fist wrapped with hockey of the former admiral. Just like Zephyr said, don't be superstitious about the armament hockey technique. In the case of a difference of dozens of times in hockey strength, whether you are wrapped in hardened or static blood suit, you will still be blown up with a punch. I'll say it one last time. Don't think about defending against internal destruction. At present, there is no such ability. Anyway, wrapping, hardening, and external release are impossible. Zafal persuaded earnestly. What if there are other hockey techniques besides entanglement, 
hardening, external release, and internal destruction. Rosen asked back. There have always been only four techniques for using armament hockey, so where does the fifth one come from? Zeffa had just finished speaking when he saw Rosen's mouth slightly raised. Thinking of his students' enchanting talent in hockey, a thought that he himself found shocking came to his mind. I didn't have it before, but now I have it. Rosen nodded slightly in response to Zeffa's shocked gaze. Are you telling the truth? Zeffa subconsciously wanted to say it was impossible, but when the words came to his lips, they turned into a request for verification. Obviously. After seeing Rosen's comprehension, he began to believe that his student had the ability to turn decay into magic. Teacher Zeffa. I want to ask you to do something, that is, use the same strength of armament hockey to attack me. It is best to use the technique of internal destruction. Rosen did not answer, but asked Zeffa to punch him to destroy his internal organs. Practice makes perfect. Although he is confident in the static blood suit, he still needs to test it in practice. You can't let the pirates test it when you fight with them, right? Let Zeffa do it, the worst result is nothing more than getting hurt, and it will never turn over. But let the pirates test it, either there will be no turnover, or people will die if it turns over. Are you sure? Zeff's eyes condensed. He also understood what Rosen meant, and he spoke with facts. Come on. Rosen's mind moved, and his consciousness was infused with armament hockey, and then he manipulated the hockey meticulously, injected it into the blood vessels, and flowed through the body with the blood. Zeffa was not polite either. He wrapped his fist with armament hockey and blasted out a sharp sonic boom, aiming at Rosen's forearm. Although the momentum was huge, the power of his punch was very measured. He only used the same hockey strength as Rosen, and the place he hit was still his arm. Even if Rosen couldn't defend himself, he could be sent to the hospital for treatment in time. He would not leave behind. Any sequelae. Bang. Fists and arms collided. With the two as the center, a wave of fist wind roared out, raising a whistling sound that made people's scalps numb. It was as if invisible tigers were roaring together. Huh. Zeffa stared at Rosen's arm. He found that after being attacked by him, the opponent's arm had black lines on the skin, as if black light was flowing in the blood vessels. The most important thing was that he clearly felt that the internal destruction that had been invincible against any opponent in the past was blocked. Yes. Just as he tried to pass the armament hockey through Rosen's arm and enter the muscles, blood vessels, and soft tissues to cause damage, his armament hockey touched a layer of barrier and could not pass through Rosen's body surface and enter the body. If he couldn't even penetrate the surface, he naturally couldn't cause internal damage. Really did it. Zeffa stared at Rosen in a daze. After one fight, he had understood it firsthand. This is a kind of armed color technique that is naturally counter to internal destruction, which can effectively prevent hockey from penetrating the surface of the body. When facing Rosen, any hockey master has already been useless in this technique. The only way is to use an absolutely powerful attack to forcefully break the defense from the outside. But the problem is that the enemy's internal destruction technique is useless, but Rosen is not. Entanglement, hardening, external release, internal destruction, Rosen can use them all, and all can be used on the enemy. No. There is another question. You keep using it to maintain this state, don't you need to consume hockey? What is the difference between this and using hockey to harden the whole body all the time? Zeff suddenly thought of something. Of course. It takes a lot of hockey to harden the whole body and maintain this state all the time, but my static blood suit can be maintained until I am attacked as long as it is used once, and no additional hockey is consumed. This is equivalent to putting a layer of armor on yourself with armament hockey before the battle, and maintaining this layer of armor almost does not require any additional hockey. Rosen's words made Zeffa change color in horror. His words were absolutely true. The armament hockey injected into the blood vessels will only flow through the body with the blood, and will never disappear, and there will be no additional consumption. The part of hockey injected into the blood vessels will always stay in the blood vessels to maintain the state of the static blood suit. As long as it is not damaged by external forces, it will not disappear. If you insist on talking about consumption, there is some, but it is not armament hockey, but Rosen's physical strength and spirit. After all, it takes energy to control the armament hockey meticulously and inject hockey into the blood vessels. Moreover, 
Hockey flows in the blood vessels all the time, evolving defense, which will burden the blood vessels and the body over time. However, with his current physique, he can maintain the stasis blood suit for more than half a day. As his physique and hockey improve, this time will be continuously extended. Monster. This is a monster born for hockey, more terrifying than the Admiral of the Navy. Looking at Rosen, who created the fifth armament hockey technique, the stasis blood suit, on the first day of contact with hockey. An idea came to Zeppa's mind. The first time, the second time. Marshall's office. Zhang Guo sat on a chair, crossed his fingers on the table, and had an expression on his face as if he was listening to a story. It's not just him. Garp, Kuzan, and Borsalino, who were sitting on the sofa not far away, were also listening to Zephyr's story attentively. Yes, they all agreed that Zephyr was telling a story. Zef, you said you have a student who learned all four armament hockey techniques, namely, entanglement, hardening, external release and internal destruction, in one class. Yes. Zef, you said you have a student who, after learning all the armament hockey, created a fifth technique. Yes. Zef, you said you have a student who created an armament hockey technique called static blood suit, which can defend against internal destruction. Yes. He did all these things in one class. Yes. No matter what Sengoku asked, Zefa just nodded. Because, this is the truth. Zefa, I asked you to report to me about the situation of this class of students, not to tell me a story. Also, even if you want to tell a story, you have to pay attention to some authenticity. Don't say three true and seven false, at least there must be one true and nine false. Zongguo could no longer suppress his inner impulse and slap the table. Look at what you just said. Is that called a story? That's just a myth, he said unhappily. Teacher Zephyr. Are you old and blind? It's not that there are no monsters of this species, but as Mr. Zongguo said, they can only be found in myths. Borsalino, who is the most incompatible with Zepha, seized the opportunity and mocked him. Speaking of which, the two did not have any deep hatred, nor did they have incompatible personalities, but simply had different perceptions. Zepha firmly believed that only domineering could override everything. Borsalino is the opposite. Hockey is important, but the pick-pick fruit is more powerful. One is a former admiral, and the other is a current admiral candidate. Both are extremely proud, and neither can convince the other. Gradually, as the number of conflicts increases, the relationship becomes worse. No need to look for him in myths. If you want to see him, I can call him now. Do you need me to do this? Borsalino. Facing Borsalino's weirdness, Zephyr rarely lost his temper, but looked at his student calmly. You. Borsalino's face changed slightly. Although he didn't get along with Zephyr, he knew his teacher's temper very well. Once this expression is revealed, it is definitely serious. Zephyr, you are not serious, are you? Garp sat up straight. Kuzan, who had been silent, pulled up his eye mask directly. For a moment, in the marshal's office, all the senior Navy officers, every legendary Navy officer stared at Zephyr intently. Trying to find a trace of joking on him. Aren't you telling a story? Zan Guo looked at Zephyr in astonishment. Asshole. I have been reporting to you seriously. You actually thought I was telling you a story. Zhefa was immediately unhappy when he saw everyone's expressions, and he caught Zhang Guo, who was closest to him, and scolded him. It's okay that Borsalino is a short-sighted guy, but even you Zhang Guo thinks of me like this. As soon as these words came out, Borsalino felt offended. But seeing that Zephyr looked serious, he didn't want to be slapped in the face again, so he decisively chose to hold back. Are you sure you're serious? Zhang Guo stared at Zephyr's eyes. Here's the Den Den Mushi. Call it yourself. Zephyr took out a Den Den Mushi from his pocket and placed it on the desk. How could such a monster exist in this world? After Sengoku confirmed that Zephyr was not joking, he leaned back in his chair with an incredible expression on his face. Ah la la la, is this true? Kuzan murmured. If it's true, then this junior of mine. He's simply a monster born for domineering. Borsalino saw that the corners of Zephyr's mouth had been rising since he entered the door, and even his own aim no Murakumo sword couldn't suppress it, and he knew in his heart how it was. It's the same thing. Zephyr, what's his name? Zanguo sat up straight. 
Generally speaking, military academy students who haven't graduated yet are not worth remembering as a marshal. Unless they are monsters with the potential to be a general. But what about Rosen? Not a general, but a person who surpasses the general. Rosen. Right. He seems to be a capable person. Zephyr remembered something. Because Rosen's domineering talent is so amazing, he completely ignored the fact that he is also a fruit ability user. It's a waste. Garp shook his head. It's not that he wasted a devil fruit, but he felt that for a monster like Rosen who was born for domineering, eating a devil fruit is simply a waste of his own talent. Although there will be an extra fruit ability, it will also increase some weaknesses out of thin air. For example, the sea and sea stone. Zeph. I don't care whether Rosen has the ability of the fruit. I just want to know if he has the domineering color domineering. When Sengoku said this, everyone pricked up their ears. Domineering color domineering, also known as the king's qualification. Although you can become a top-level powerhouse without domineering color, you will never be the strongest among the top-level powerhouses without domineering color. For example, Roger. For example, Whitebeard. And Kaido. Rosen only developed the static blood suit, which is equivalent to having one more armed color skill than others, which is already an advantage, not to mention one more domineering. I gave him a lesson. Then, I came here to report to you. What do you think? Zeph spread his hands, and the meaning was very clear. There was no time to confirm whether Rosen had the domineering color domineering. Make it happen as soon as possible. As soon as you are sure that Rosen has conqueror hockey, come and inform me immediately. When the time comes, I will personally teach him how to use conqueror hockey. Sengoku looked straight at Zephyr. His words surprised everyone present. A man standing at the top of a million navy, personally teaching a military academy student. Looking at the history of the navy headquarters, it is also a unique thing. Mr. Sengoku personally instructed. Borsalino was secretly surprised. But he also understood why Sengoku did this. Unlike the pirates, who can be called kings, the navy has never lacked admiral-level combat power, but only lacks kings with conqueror hockey. As far as he knows, looking at the high-level navy, it seems that only Sengoku and Garp have conqueror hockey. In other words, the navy who can teach Rosen to use conqueror hockey, looking at the headquarters, is only Sengoku, who is the admiral of the navy, and Garp, the hero of the navy. The king of the country is still alive. Zepha also expressed his understanding of Zongguo's eagerness to become the king. The navy headquarters really needs a new king with the domineering color to replace Zongguo. Even though Zongguo is still at his peak. After reporting to you, I will go over and try to see if I can make Rosen awaken the domineering color. Zepha said to Zongguo. Although he does not have the domineering color domineering, as a former admiral and chief instructor of the naval school, he still has a set of plans for testing the qualifications of the king. Although it may not be 100% useful, it is better than nothing. Bulu Bulu. Just when Zephyr finished reporting Rosen's affairs and was about to leave for the Naval Academy, a Den Den Mushi sounded from his pocket. Hello, this is Zephyr. Zephyr paused, took out his Den Den Mushi, and answered the call. Teacher Zephyr. Come back soon. There's going to be a big mess at the Naval Academy. The sound of a mountain on fire came from the Den Den Mushi's mouth. What's the problem? Has any student in the class mastered armament hockey? Is it Gion? Or Cake? Zephyr acted very calm. He could tell at a glance that Gion and Saga were both monsters with the qualities of a general, just like Sakuski, Borsalino, and Kuzan. It's normal to learn armament hockey in one day. Neither. It's domineering hockey. Just now, Domineering hockey suddenly appeared in the Naval Academy, and the scope was very large. Almost all the students in the classroom were stunned. Huo Shaoshan's voice had just fallen. Sengoku, Garp, Borsalino, and Kuzan stood up at the same time, and then rushed out of the marshal's office in a uniform manner, rushing to the Naval Academy together. With Zephyr's report just now, they knew what the domineering hockey that Huo Shaoshan said on the phone was. The Navy finally ushered in a new king. Sengoku was extremely excited. If it was simply domineering hockey, he would be happy, but he would not lose his composure. But after learning from Zepha about Rosen's talent in hockey, even as a marshal, he couldn't hold back at this moment. He was extremely eager to meet this new king. That's what I said. 
How can a monster born for domineering not have the qualifications of a king? Borsellino directly elementalized, turned into a ray of golden light, passed everyone, and arrived at the Naval Academy one step ahead. In terms of hard power, he is not the strongest among the legendary navy, but he must be the fastest among all the navy. Let me see. Yeah, sure enough, more than 90% of the people in the school fainted. Borsellino was suspended in the air of the Naval Academy, looking down, and found that whether it was the corridor or the classroom, there were people fainting on the ground. Tisk tisk. Even the air in the school is filled with the smell of domineering color. You awakened the domineering color alone when you first came into contact with domineering color. This student of mine who I have never met is really terrible. He shook his head, and just as he was about to use the observation color domineering color to lock the source of this domineering color domineering color, he found that the domineering color domineering color that almost permeated the entire naval school actually shrank by itself. It's not dissipating, but shrinking. Artificially control this domineering color to shrink, and no longer cause large-scale accidental injuries. This, am I dazzled? Borsellino almost couldn't maintain the elementalization and fell from the air. After stabilizing his body, he couldn't help but rub his eyes and found that the domineering color domineering in the school was still shrinking. No way. He just awakened the domineering color domineering. It has actually surpassed the primary stage and is rapidly moving towards the intermediate stage. Borsellino's mouth opened wide, his face full of horror. It's not that he hasn't seen pirates with king qualifications, and there are even many who have defeated him. But it's really unprecedented to see someone with such a terrifying qualification as Rosen. Borsellino, what are you daydreaming about? At this time, there was a loud sound of breaking through the air, and Cap stepped on the moon step, stood beside Borsellino, and stood in the air. Mr. Cap, feel it yourself. It should still be in time. Borsellino pointed in the direction of the teaching building. That's where the Dow power equipment is placed. Impossible. Garp was also curious when he saw this, so he spread out his observation hockey, and then his eyes widened, with an expression of seeing a ghost. How long has it been? He has actually been able to use his own will to freely control the conqueror hockey. He awakened the conqueror hockey on his own, and then immediately skipped the primary level, and pushed the conqueror hockey to the intermediate level without anyone teaching him. Garp exclaimed in disbelief. Using his observation hockey to sense, he clearly saw a breath in the distance, which was orderly controlling the conqueror hockey, gathering and shrinking it. It's conqueror hockey, for sure. The range is very large. Huh. What are you two standing here in a daze for? At this time. Sengoku also arrived. His physical skills were slightly inferior to Garp, and he didn't open the Great Buddha form, so he was a little slower. At this time, Rosen had already controlled the Conqueror's hockey to a certain range. Unless he used the observation hockey to perceive it, he would not know that Rosen's Conqueror's hockey had crossed the threshold of the primary level and entered the intermediate level. Zan Guo, you have to work harder and hurry up. Otherwise, there is really not much time and teaching space left for you. Garp twisted his stiff neck and looked at the confused Zhang Guo beside him. What do you mean? Zhang Guo didn't understand. It's not too late now. You will understand if you turn on your observation hockey. Garp shook his head and motioned Zhang Guo to use his observation hockey to see it himself. Mysterious. Zhang Guo heard this, although he didn't know Garp's intention, he still did it. His eyes flashed red, and his observation hockey spread out, and then he fell directly from midair. What? Didn't he just awaken his conqueror's hockey? How did he achieve free control? Zenguo staggered and almost fell to the ground from midair. He no longer cared about the image of the Navy Admiral. At this moment, he was completely immersed in shock. Before, Zongguo still didn't understand what Garp said, but now he completely understood. Conqueror's hockey is divided into three levels. Primary awakening, intermediate control, and advanced qualitative change. Primary, that is, just awakened, cannot control conqueror's hockey well. Intermediate, can freely control with will, from the size of the range, to the positioning of the attack, to the power of conqueror's hockey, can be freely manipulated. Advanced, directly use pressure to eliminate the opponent. Conqueror's hockey is always in the state of activation, and can cause substantial physical damage. 
In the New World, most of the kings who have experienced wars are at the level of intermediate conquerors hockey. Even the four emperors are no exception. Only Roger, Rox, and Shanks have reached the realm of advanced conquerors hockey. And what about Rosen? As soon as he awakened, he caught up with the kings who had been immersed in conquerors hockey for several years, or even more than ten years. Maybe he still lacks in the strength of conquerors hockey, but his control ability is no less inferior. This also means that apart from the skills of using conquerors hockey, even Sengoku, as the admiral of the navy, does not have much ink to teach Rosen. Once Rosen takes another step forward, then in turn, Sengoku, as the admiral, may even ask Rosen for advice. The old man was very angry. It doesn't matter. Rosen doesn't know how to use the conqueror's hockey yet. I can still teach him about the conqueror's hockey. After realizing that Rosen's conqueror's hockey had reached the intermediate level, Zanguo comforted himself in his heart. Conqueror's hockey. That is the technique that really makes the conqueror's hockey bloom with its terrifying power. If you don't know how to use the conqueror's hockey, unless you have a high-level conqueror's hockey, no matter how strong the conqueror's hockey is, it can only be used to clear small soldiers. It is impossible to exert its due power in actual combat. You'd better put away the happy thoughts in your stomach. Sengoku, you should know that one of the prerequisites for mastering the technique of conqueror's hockey is to have intermediate conqueror's hockey. That kid named Rosen has already met the threshold of mastering conqueror's hockey. Garp seemed to see through Sengoku's thoughts and directly pierced his luck. Once that kid knows that conqueror's hockey can be wrapped around limbs and weapons to attack like armament hockey, then judging from his current hockey talent, he is likely to learn it by himself. Do you understand? Even you, the admiral of the navy, can only teach him one lesson at most now. No more. As soon as these words came out. Sengoku also had an urgent thought in his heart. No matter in which world, the grace of teaching and preaching is huge. Especially in the world of pirates where personal power is concentrated in one person, this grace is even greater. After learning about Rosen's existence from Zephyr, he had already decided to use the grace of teaching and preaching to make Rosen more identified with the navy and his destination. There is no way. Other navy, even students from Zephyr's class, at least stay in the naval school for a year. It is enough to have a sense of belonging to the headquarters of the navy. But Rosen is different. The progress is too fast. According to the current progress rate, half a year, no, three months, no, it is still too much, one month. Rosen can graduate from the naval school. Not graduating is not okay. Because by then, from the admiral to the marshal, no one can teach Rosen in domineering, physical skills, and the development of fruit abilities. No. I must be one step ahead of Rosen and teach him this skill before he realizes the domineering color entanglement on his own. Thinking of this, Sengoku directly used the fruit ability. Whoosh. Under the golden light that shot straight into the sky, he transformed into a giant Buddha, then stepped on the moon step at full speed. Why did Mr. Sengoku transform? Did the Navy headquarters encounter an attack? Is it the Golden Lion who escaped from prison? Or Kaido? Kuzan, who arrived late, just caught sight of Sengoku's golden back, so he immediately took a defensive posture. Nothing happened. It's just Kuzan. You missed a lot of interesting things. Garp shook Kuzan's shoulder, signaling him to follow. Although he could tell Kuzan, it was completely different to face it in person and tell it through other people's words. On the other side, Rosen had completely gathered up the domineering aura that spread out and enveloped the Navy school. Sure enough. I have conqueror hockey. Moreover, the ultimate hockey can not only work on armament hockey, but also on conqueror hockey. Just when Zepha went to the marshal's office to report to Sengoku, Rosen saw that he had nothing to do, so he used the ultimate hockey to try to inject his consciousness into another light ball in his body. I thought it was observation hockey, but it turned out to be conqueror hockey. As soon as his consciousness was injected into conqueror hockey, this hockey began to run wild, like a volcano that had been sealed for many years, and after accumulating terrifying energy, it completely erupted. If armament hockey is flowing water, then conqueror hockey is lightning. Extremely violent and difficult to control. Even Rosen spent a full five minutes after awakening Conqueror Hockey to perfectly control this extremely violent Conqueror Hockey. 
To control conqueror hockey as you wish, just like controlling armament hockey. Then, he naturally passed the elementary level and entered the intermediate level of conqueror hockey. I have armament hockey, and I have also figured out the fifth technique. I can also freely control conqueror hockey. In that case, I can try the domination entanglement. Quote. Rosen showed an eager expression. The first master of the pirates, Mr. Kai said it himself. The domination entanglement is something that only a very small number of top-level masters can do. If having domination hockey represents the qualifications of becoming a king, then mastering domination hockey entanglement means that you have already become a king. No. It is the symbol of a top king. Since I also have domination hockey, I must master the domination hockey entanglement technique. Bang. Just as Rosen was about to pour his consciousness into domination hockey, and then control domination hockey entanglement to his back foot like controlling armament hockey, the tightly closed door was suddenly blasted open, followed by a violent wave of air. Before he looked around, waves of dazzling golden light had already pierced his eyes. You, who are you? Quote. Rosen was stunned as he watched the golden Buddha in front of him smash the door and then pierce the ceiling. Didn't he just practice conqueror's hockey for a while? Is it necessary for the admiral of the navy to come to him in person? Nice to meet you, I'm Sengoku. The admiral of the navy headquarters. But you can call me Sengoku Sensei. As soon as they met, Sengoku introduced himself with a pleasant face, and then without saying anything, he forced the relationship between teacher and student. Teacher Sengoku. Quote. Three question marks appeared in Rosen's mind. Isn't Zanguo a marshal? Isn't the work busy enough? He also plans to be a part-time teacher in the Naval Academy. However, what does this have to do with smashing the door, breaking through the ceiling, turning into a big Buddha, and descending in front of him? To be honest, if he didn't feel any murderous aura from Zanguo, and if the other party immediately exited the transformed state after appearing, Rosen couldn't help but wonder if he had encountered the situation of a tree that stands out in the forest and will be destroyed by the wind. Is it because he is too good, so he lured Zhang Guo here to teach Shouer a lesson? Here's the thing. Zephyr has just told me about you. I guess you should have the domineering color domineering, so I plan to come here to teach you how to use this power correctly. After all, although Zephyr is a rare master teacher, he doesn't know the domineering color domineering after all. Quote. After briefly introducing himself, Zhongguo started teaching directly. Yes, your conqueror hockey has reached the intermediate level. I think you should have noticed that this power is very violent and powerful, but it seems to be very scattered and cannot exert its due power. That's because you lack a key to open the door that blocks the true power of conqueror hockey. He said in a serious tone. That, Marshal Zhongguo. Hmm. Teacher Zhongguo, I have actually thought of it. Okay. You don't have to say anything, just follow me first. Before Rosen finished speaking, a trace of red light flashed in Zhang Guo's eyes, and then his face changed drastically. He no longer gave Rosen a chance to speak, first transformed into the Great Buddha form again, and then relied on the strength of the Navy Marshal and the size of the Great Buddha form to grab Rosen and take him outside. The two of them were in a mess. That was a close call. Fortunately I listened to Garp, otherwise it would be troublesome. Who would have thought that in a few seconds, Rosen would have learned the conqueror's hockey by himself. Zhang Guo dragged Rosen outside, feeling lucky. Just now, he used his observation hockey to foresee the future, and he saw it clearly. As long as Rosen was given a few more seconds to explore, this evildoer would be able to learn the conqueror's hockey by himself. By then, there would be nothing for him, the admiral of the navy, to do. Just a little bit short, and he, teacher Zhang Guo, would be out of a job before he even got to the point. If Garp knew that he, as a Navy Admiral, couldn't even teach Rosen a lesson, he would probably be laughed at for a whole year. Right here. Okay, tell me. What is the key to open the door that blocks the power of Conqueror's Hockey? Sengoku brought Rosen to an empty training ground, giving him a chance to speak. Teacher Sengoku. I think Conqueror's Hockey should be able to wrap around limbs and weapons like armament hockey. This way, we can change the scattered state, concentrate Conqueror's Hockey, and exert its due power. Rosen spread his hands. It's already remarkable that you can think of this. 
Yes, as you said, wrapping Conqueror's Hockey around limbs and weapons is the key to unlocking the door that blocks the true power of Conqueror's Hockey. In order to let you feel the power of Conqueror's Hockey intuitively, so that you can master this skill as soon as possible, I will show you directly. In this way, you can also avoid taking a detour. After saying that, Zhang Guo did not give Rosen a chance to speak, and directly manipulated the Conqueror's Hockey that was as violent as lightning in his body. He put his five fingers together to form a palm. Swish. Accompanied by the roar of thunder and lightning, black and red lightning, like a ferocious roaring black dragon, was violent but firmly controlled and wrapped around Zongguo's palm. This is the technique of using Conqueror's Hockey. Conqueror's Hockey. As soon as the voice fell, Zongguo slammed his palm towards the ground. His palm had not yet touched the ground, and was still about half a meter away from the ground, but the black and red lightning wrapped around his palm had already been like a wild horse running away, pouring on the ground and spreading in all directions. Crack. Wherever the black and red lightning passed, the ground was torn apart. The solid concrete ground was destroyed like paper in front of the black and red lightning. Boom. With a thunderous sound, the area of 100 meters was covered with shocking cracks like a dry riverbed. What's more terrifying is that every crack was filled with black and red lightning. The overwhelming air waves, mixed with almost tangible pressure, evolved into a terrifying overlord shock wave that swept around. Is this the spirit of the Navy Admiral? Feeling the domineering wave coming towards him, Rosen's heart was shocked. The legend standing at the top of the million-strong Navy, he finally saw it. He could feel that although Sengoku used the Conqueror's Hockey, he didn't really do it. He just demonstrated to himself how to use Conqueror's Hockey. It might not even have half the power. Don't be superstitious about the skills of armament hockey. Rosen suddenly thought of what Zeppa had said to him before. Now it seems that not only armament hockey, but also conqueror's hockey hockey should not be superstitious about the skills. No matter what kind of hockey, skills are skills, and strength is strength, which are completely different things. Even if he learned conqueror, if he had to fight conqueror with Sengoku, he would definitely be beaten. Even if Rosen and Sengoku's Conqueror's Hockey were both at the intermediate level. But intermediate, this is just a division of Conqueror's Hockey control level, not a division of Conqueror's Hockey strength. In addition to skills, what determines the power of Conqueror's Hockey is the strength of the King's own spirit. Similarly, the same is true for Armament Hockey. At this time, several tall figures stood around the Military Academy Square. Garp. Kuzan. Zephyr. Borsalino. In addition to Sengoku who was teaching Rosen, it can be said that except for Sakuski who was in charge of the New World, almost all the legendary navy of the headquarters had arrived. Just to witness Rosen's extraordinary talent. Do you think he can learn it? Kuzan spoke first, breaking. Silence. It should be possible. But that is after all the conqueror's hockey entanglement, which is more difficult to master than the technique of armament hockey. Even if that kid is talented, it will take at least one or two hours to practice Conqueror's Hockey Entanglement. Zepha was a little uncertain. He was the first person to notice Rosen's talent, but it was still Conqueror's Hockey Entanglement. The symbol of the top king of the sea. The symbol of becoming a king. It's no longer a qualification, it's already becoming a king. One or two hours. Borsalino heard it and felt that it was still a bit fast, but thinking of being slapped in the face in the marshal's office before, he decisively swallowed the words that were about to come out of his mouth. Eat melons, eat melons, but it's not good to eat yourself. One or two hours. Zepha, how much do you look down on Rosen? Didn't you see that Sengoku wanted to stuff the conqueror's hockey entanglement technique into Rosen's arms? Garp looked at Sengoku deeply and grinned. Isn't this normal? Which admiral would not cherish a talent like Rosen? Zepha was a little confused. Is Sengoku cherishing his talent? He is afraid that if he teaches a few seconds later, Rosen will have mastered the conqueror's hockey. By then, he, the admiral of the navy, will become a joke. In terms of understanding Sengoku, Garp can be said to be the best in the world. What? Mr. Garp? Do you mean that even if Mr. Sengoku doesn't teach Rosen, he can understand the Conqueror's Hockey by exploring on his own? Is that so? Kuzan, who has the best relationship with Garp, couldn't help asking. Isn't this obvious? 
Didn't Rosen awaken the primary conqueror hockey and then master the intermediate conqueror hockey without anyone teaching him? This kind of monster is typically being chased by God to feed him. If Sengoku had been a little slower, he would have lost the chance to feed Rosen. When Garp thought of Sengoku's hurried look just now, he couldn't help but grin and laugh. What do you mean? Zef couldn't help but look at Garp. It means that if Sengoku had been a little slower in teaching him a few seconds, Rosen would have learned the conqueror hockey entanglement by himself. Garp said something shocking in the face of the incredulous eyes of Zeffa, Kuzan, and Borsellino. So, he has already learned the conqueror hockey entanglement. But, is it possible? Zeff, Borsellino and Kuzan exchanged glances with each other, and then looked at Rosen in the center of the square at the same time. They didn't dare to blink. I was afraid of missing this scene that would go down in naval history. The more he tried, the more he was able to do it. As if to respond to the thoughts of Kuzan, Borsellino and others. After witnessing the whole process of warring states using the overlord color entanglement, Rosen felt that this technique was no longer secretive in front of him. Originally, even if warring states did not teach him, he had the confidence to learn this overlord color entanglement technique. It would take at most five or six seconds longer. Now with Warring States' hand-in-hand -hand teaching, Overlord Color Entanglement, you just need hands. Under the gaze of the legendary navy who looked at him like a monster, Rosen raised his arm and folded his five fingers. Chi-chi. The moment he clenched his fist, black and red lightning flashed out one after another, like a violent black dragon breaking free from its restraints, and then entangled around his fist, emitting a strong pressure, forcibly distorting the air around his fist. Really. Heroic hockey entanglement. Even if Sengoku used his observation hockey to foresee the future and had already seen this scene, he still couldn't help but change color when he saw Rosen use the hockey entanglement. Not to mention the four people standing in the distance watching, Zeffa, Garp, Kuzan and Borsellino. Rosen. Is he a monster? No, it should be said that he is a natural-born overlord. At this moment, all the legendary navy present reached a consensus in their hearts. In their opinion, Rosen is really the kind of king who is chased by God to feed hockey. Whether there is anyone to teach him or not does not affect his growth. I have nothing to teach him anymore. At least. That's true for conqueror hockey. When Sengoku watched Rosen rubbing his hands with conqueror hockey in front of him, he felt very complicated. He was shocked by Rosen's extraordinary comprehension, he was also happy that the Navy headquarters had such a natural conqueror, and he was even more ashamed that he, as a Navy admiral, had only taught Rosen a few minutes and he was at his wit's end. Especially he knew it well. In fact, Rosen didn't need Sengoku to teach him conqueror hockey. It was he who used his observation hockey to foresee the future and learned that Rosen would comprehend conquer hockey on his own in a few seconds. In order not to lose face in front of Garp, so as not to lose face, and for the sake of teaching, he completely relied on his powerful hockey and strength to force Rosen to learn the conqueror hockey technique. Otherwise, as a marshal, I am not even qualified to teach Rosen a lesson. Ahem. Rosen, although you have mastered the king's hockey entanglement and have mastered four, no, five techniques of armament hockey, don't be complacent about it. The vastness of this sea is far beyond your imagination. Zhang Guo didn't want Rosen to become arrogant and conceited because of his overpowering comprehension, so he racked his brains and finally thought of Rosen's shortcomings and needed to be honed. At least, your observation hockey. Before he finished speaking, he found that Rosen's eyes had already glowed with a familiar red light, and his heart couldn't help but tremble. So this is what it feels like to look at people with observation hockey. The auras of Sengoku teacher, Zephyr teacher, Vice Admiral Garp, Vice Admiral Kazaru and Vice Admiral Aokiji are like five sons in the headquarters of the Navy. Rosen closed his eyes and spread his observation hockey. Obviously. While Sengoku was calming down and giving a lecture, he had already poured his consciousness into his observation hockey and mastered it. Although he could not foresee the future, after all, that was not a hockey technique, but the strength of hockey, but he knew all the basic techniques of observation hockey. Sense attacks, predict the opponent's next move, sense the strength of creatures, sense the emotions and thoughts of creatures, and sense the position and number of objects outside the field of vision. Many things. Rosen has mastered them one by one. In other words, 
Three color hockey. If Zefa and Sengoku are counted together, he graduated after only two classes in total. Rosen has mastered all the known techniques of the three color hockey in the Grand Line. The remaining abilities, such as observation killing, foreseeing the future, etc., are no longer techniques, but are linked to the strength of hockey. For example, foreseeing the future. The strength of observation hockey must be cultivated to the extreme. And observation killing. Without the strength of the advanced domineering hockey, it is impossible to master it. Have you learned the observation hockey? Or is it me? The kind of comprehension. Zhang Guo opened his mouth, as if an invisible egg was stuffed into it. He hadn't finished speaking yet, no, in the moment he was speaking, the monster in front of him had comprehended the observation hockey. When did the three colors of hockey become so cheap? You can learn them all in two classes. This is interesting now. Armament hockey, conqueror hockey, and observation hockey, he has mastered them all. Like Mr. Zhang Guo, Mr. Zeffa is also facing the crisis of unemployment. Quote. Borsellino saw this, although he was teasing Zeffa, he was as shocked as anyone else. He always felt that he was also a monster. Except for not having the innate domineering color domineering, whether it was swordsmanship, physical skills, health bars, or fruit abilities, each one was not inferior to the so-called four emperors. Until he met Rosen. Borsellino felt that he was also a normal person. How much do you look down on my ability? Borsellino. Zeffa curled his lips, and then ignored Borsellino, but walked straight to Rosen. Rosen. Three colors of domineering, from a technical point of view, you have indeed learned all of them, but it does not mean that you have no room for improvement. Quote. Remember what I said before. Quote. Don't be superstitious about the techniques of hockey. Whether it is observation hockey, armament hockey, or conqueror hockey, the so-called techniques are just to allow you to better exert the power of hockey itself, but no technique will change the strength of your own hockey. As the only man in the navy who can compete with Kaido for the title of the world's number one master, Zephyr is completely different from Sengoku. He saw Rosen's shortcomings at a glance. In a word. Skills are enough, but strength is insufficient. If the strength of hockey, such as internal strength, and the hockey techniques, are compared to moves, then Rosen has top-level moves but does not have top-level internal strength to match them. Teacher Zephyr, please teach me. Quote. After Rosen heard this, he thought for a moment and bowed to Zephyr. After mastering the observation hockey, he could clearly feel a desire for his son to become a successful person in Zephyr. Not a son, but a disciple. Thinking of Zephyr's experience of devoting his life to cultivating the new generation of the navy after his wife and children were killed by pirates, he understood that Zephyr's cultivation and attention to him were not mixed with any interests. So after thinking that he might have the domineering hockey, Zephyr hurried to the office of the navy marshal. It seemed that he was reporting to Sengoku, but in fact he wanted to lay a foundation. So that Sengoku could give an explanation. That is, after confirming that Rosen had the domineering hockey, Sengoku, as a marshal, could come to teach him in person. The old man was very happy. You, very good. Zephyr saw that Rosen only took two classes to learn all three color domineering skills, but he was still not arrogant or impatient, and even respected his teacher very much, and he couldn't help but feel relieved. No matter what the future holds, teacher Zephyr is my enlightenment teacher, and this will never change. Rosen met Zephyr's eyes and said in a calm but unquestionable voice. He thought of this teacher who spent half his life cultivating the navy, but finally died in the hands of the navy he cultivated, and he felt a sense of irony in his heart. Justice. If this is what the navy headquarters pursues, he would rather not have it. You. Zephyr's heart trembled for the first time when he heard this. He has taught many students in his life, including admirals and vice-admirals, but this is the first time he has heard a student say such words to him. Especially a super monster who has only taken one class from him. Having taught many students with the qualifications of admirals, Zephyr knows very well that these navy officers with the qualifications of admirals are all very proud and arrogant without exception. As long as there is a disagreement, even if it is a teacher or even a close relative, they will still turn their faces and ignore them. The navy is like this, and the pirates are also like this. For example, King Luffy and Ace will never follow Garp's ideas, even if it is his grandfather, and the same is true for Monkey D. Dragon. 
Marshal D. Teaches no exception. But Rosen seems to have refreshed his cognition. Thinking of this, his tiger eyes seemed to flash with water, but it disappeared the moment he turned his head, as if it had never appeared. Okay, that's all for today's class. Remember to review what you learned today after you go back to the dormitory. After all, you have learned all three colors of hockey at once, and you have mastered a lot of skills. Moreover, learning three colors of hockey and being able to flexibly use three colors of hockey in battle are two completely different things. That's it. You come here to wait for me at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Zepha turned his back to Rosen, like a kind elder treating his juniors, and his words revealed a deep concern. I will remember it. Rosen chewed every word that Zepha told him. He found that Zepha really deserved to be the first master of the navy. There is no need to say more about teaching people according to their aptitude. His teachings to himself happened to be what he lacked the most now. He learned all three colors of hockey and all the skills at once, but his combat experience and awareness were basically zero. When fighting with others, when should I use conqueror hockey, when should I use armament hockey, when should I use observation hockey, and what kind of hockey skills should I use? Rosen didn't have a clear concept of these. After all, he had just learned the three colors of hockey, let alone fighting with others, and even the number of times he could use it was very limited. However, from the look on Zephyr's face, he obviously knew all of this, and perhaps he had already tailored a new version of the teaching plan for himself. Zephyr, you must teach him well. Rosen. He is the future of the navy and the only successor of absolute justice. Zengoku watched Rosen leave, and only after his back disappeared from his sight did he retract his gaze and said to Zephyr beside him. Every student, they are the future of the navy, and the only successor of absolute justice. Zephyr glared at Sengoku. Obviously. He was very dissatisfied with Sengoku's words. It is true that students are strong and weak, but it is also true that all students are the future of the navy and the successors of justice. You should know what I want to say. I'm not afraid to tell you the truth. With my current physical condition, even if I take good care of myself, I will only have about five years of peak period left. After that, my physical fitness, domineering, strength, will, and even fruit ability will weaken year by year as time goes by. Garp, he should be in the same situation. The headquarters needs a new king, a king who can lead the navy and dominate the world. Zengoku stared straight into Zephyr's eyes. You must ensure that Rosen can grow up within five years. No matter what the cost. Zengoku. He shouted word by word. He is my student. You don't need me to tell you. I will do my best to train him into a talent. Just like Sakaski, Borsalino, and Kuzan. Zengoku also felt the pressure on Zongguo, as well as. Hope for Rosen. Not everyone can be the Admiral of the Navy. Internally, he has to face the world government and externally, he has to face pirates. Once the hero is old and the old king abdicates, if the next generation of admirals of the navy headquarters does not have the conqueror's hockey, not only the admiral himself, but also the navy headquarters will be neglected by the five elders. At the same time, it cannot suppress the increasingly violent great pirate era. It is night. Rosen stood in the corridor of the military school dormitory, quietly looking at the two rows of cherry trees below. The same place. The same scenery. Only the mood of the person looking at the scenery is different. From the hesitation and uneasiness at the beginning of the time travel, to the incomparable enlightenment, rubbing the thousand cherry blossoms with hands, and learning all the skills of using the three-color hockey in just two classes today. After just one day's experience, Rosen returned to the corridor of the dormitory. When he saw the falling cherry blossoms again, he only had a vision for the future and confidence like the sun in his heart. All this stems from the fact that he has the capital to control the future and watch the wind and clouds in the great pirate era. You haven't slept so late. Are you thinking about the afternoon? Just as Rosen was in a good mood and enjoying the cherry blossoms, a graceful voice came from behind. He turned his head and found that it was Guillaume. Maybe it was because she came out of the dormitory. At this time, Guillaume was wearing a pink lace nightgown, the fabric barely past her hips, exposing a pair of thighs that were almost as long as Rosen's height to the air. There was no way. Whether before or after the time travel, Rosen felt that his height was still acceptable. A height of 2.2 meters, which is definitely not short among this class of students. 
But Gion has the height of a general. Just over 3 meters. That's fine, but she also stepped on a pair of 10 centimeter black high heels. Forget it, in addition to the strength of domineering, the height needs to be developed. I wonder if the heaven-defying comprehension can change the height. What happened in the afternoon? Rosen didn't quite understand what Gion meant. Domineering hockey. Gion opened his lips and teeth and uttered five words. Speaking of domineering hockey, I'm really sorry today. I just awakened domineering hockey, and I can't control it well for the first time, which caused trouble for you. Rosen reacted and remembered what Zephyr told him before leaving, that when he awakened domineering hockey, he almost stunned all the teachers and students of the entire naval school. Except for Gion, Cake, Smoker, Hina, and Huo Shaoshan, only a few people were spared. Thinking that Gion was hit by a domineering hockey for no reason, he thought that the other party came to ask for an explanation, so he explained. That's okay. Just don't suddenly use your conqueror hockey on me without a word. After all, we'll continue to be classmates for a year starting tomorrow. Gion's lips slightly raised, and he said meaningfully. Don't worry, there won't be a second time like today when you can't control your conqueror hockey precisely. As for you, continue to be my classmate. Gion, you should have learned the entanglement and hardening of armament hockey, right? When Rosen saw Gion smile, he knew it. Gion in front of him didn't come to blame for being hit by a conqueror hockey, but to tell himself that he had mastered armament hockey. Of course, there is another meaning. That is. Me. Gion. Not inferior to you. The old man was very happy. Of course. If I hadn't mastered the entanglement hardening, how could I dare to say that I would continue to be your classmate from tomorrow? Gion's words revealed a sense of awe-inspiring confidence, but at the same time, reason told him that he was making progress and Rosen would definitely stay where he was. After all, the man in front of him only took half an hour to master the entanglement hardening of the armed color. And the domineering aura that swept the entire naval school was the best proof. That's right. You just said that there won't be a second time that you can't control your conqueror hockey precisely like today. Have you already practiced your conqueror hockey to the intermediate level? Gion keenly captured an extremely shocking amount of information from Rosen's mumbling. It was just luck. Rosen smiled modestly. How can such a thing be lucky? Conqueror hockey is the most difficult to control among the three colors of hockey. Without a year or two of practice, ordinary kings simply can't control it freely. When Gion looked at Rosen, a hint of complexity flashed across her beautiful eyes. She came out of the dormitory tonight, first to enjoy the cherry blossoms, and second to relax her tense spirit because of practicing armament hockey all day. Unexpectedly, she saw Rosen in the corridor. She wanted to regain some confidence from him, but was hit again. I thought I had caught up with Rosen and was not inferior to him, but the fact was that I could only barely see the man's back. I have classes tomorrow. I think you too. Let's stop here tonight, Gion san Rosen glanced at the night and didn't dwell on the topic of domineering. After saying goodbye to Gion, he turned and walked back to his single room. This is also one of the treatments for students in the Zephyr class. There is no need to squeeze into the same dormitory with others. Rosen. Gion looked at Rosen's back quietly until he walked back to the single room and closed the door of the dormitory. She retracted her gaze and turned to look at the cherry blossom tree downstairs. At this moment, her eyes flickered, and her conscience, which looked down on all the women in the headquarters, rose and fell slightly. Her mind was filled with things and emotions related to Rosen. She had long lost the original idea of watching the cherry blossoms. The next day, Rosen got up early and arrived at the class place agreed with Zeppa on time. The square that was used by Sengoku to demonstrate the domineering color entanglement yesterday and was blasted apart had been restored to its original state after a night of repair. However, as soon as he arrived at the class place, a capybara face almost stuck in front of him. Hey, see you again, Brother Rosen. It's true that life is full of encounters. I didn't expect that we just separated yesterday and we can continue to be classmates today. Kaji put his face in front of Rosen, and the capybara face that was so proud was almost written with the line of big words, I have practiced the hardening of armed color entanglement. It seems that you are very happy. Then, Kaji. You must cherish it well. 
After all, your classmate relationship can only last until the end of this class at most. Before Rosen spoke, Zepha's tower-like figure was already standing behind Kaji. Teacher Zepha. I don't quite understand what you mean. Kaji's smile froze. Idiot. Have you forgotten yesterday's conqueror hockey? Rosen, he has already practiced conqueror hockey to the intermediate level. Not only Kaji came today, but also Gion who also practiced armament hockey in one day. It doesn't matter. Anyway, I don't have conqueror hockey, which means I am not behind Rosen. Teacher Zepha, what are the three of us practicing today? Is it the flow of armament hockey? Or observation hockey? Kaji is very good at comforting himself. Without conqueror hockey, it means not falling behind. Today's class is not about learning the techniques of hockey, but about learning how to increase the strength of hockey. When Zepha said this, Rosen also pricked up his ears. He has learned all the techniques of the three colors of hockey. What is lacking now is nothing more than the strength of hockey. Once the strength of hockey keeps up with the level of skills, and he practices physical skills and swordsmanship, even if he doesn't count the weapon fruit, he will definitely be a powerful emperor. Remember, the skills of hockey are practiced, and the strength of hockey is fought. So, if you want to increase the strength of hockey, there is only one word. Quote. Fight. Zeph looked around at Rosen and the other two, his tone extremely serious. Only by constantly fighting and using hockey can the strength of hockey be continuously improved. Especially when it reaches a certain strength. Only when it reaches the limit of actual combat can it be improved. Hearing Zephyr's words, Rosen frowned slightly. He was not questioning Zephyr's teaching level. On the contrary, he knew very well that Zephyr was right. Skills are acquired through practice, and strength is acquired through fighting. Whether it is the mediocre teacher Rayleigh or the famous teacher Kaido, they all use this method to train King Luffy. But, simply relying on continuous fighting to improve the strength of hockey is risky and slow to take effect. King Luffy fought with Rayleigh on Ruskana Island for two years. After entering the New World, he fought against fishermen, Mingo, Big Mom, Katakori, all the way to Wano country, until he defeated Teacher Kai on Onigashima. Quote. Even with this spark and lightning, the strength of Haki is still not as good as that of the old general emperor. He can only rely on the Nika form combined with the three-color Haki to compete with the general emperor. Rosen thought of Wang Luffy's cheating journey, in which he frequently crept on life, but his Haki was still not as good as that of the old general emperor. He shook his head secretly. Teacher Zepha said that skills are practiced, and strength is fought. Then can I fight and practice at the same time? One practice and one fight, one static and one dynamic, two-pronged approach, the efficiency of improving hockey strength is absolutely maximized. However, the premise is to develop a training method suitable for improving hockey strength. Quote. Rosen's brain was racing, but his consciousness was immersed in the three-color domineering. He was doing two things at once, thinking about how to improve the strength of domineering through practice, while carefully feeling the essence of the three-color domineering. Gradually, his mind was completely immersed in the ocean of domineering, and countless spiritual lights burst out. Brother, don't be distracted in class. Teacher Zepha is famous for being strict. Kaki, who was standing next to Rosen, was keenly aware that the other party was distracted, so he lowered his voice to remind Rosen, but there was no response. Seeing this, he was about to bump Rosen with his elbow, but was stopped by Zepha. Don't call him. Zepha reached out with one hand and locked Kaki's elbow like lightning, preventing him from touching Rosen. You don't even need to be scolded for being distracted, and you don't want to be disturbed. Monsters are good. Even teacher Zepha, who is famous for his strictness, is so tolerant of him. Quote. Kaji sighed inwardly. However, he had no idea that Zepha's heart was already in turmoil. That's it. Yesterday he was in the Dao power test room, just like this, and then he realized the fifth armament color technique of the static blood suit. Could it be that he is going to realize something else? Zepha raised his palm and signaled Gion and Kaji to keep quiet. Seeing his serious expression, Kaji also understood that Zepha must have been misunderstood. This master, who was known for his strictness, did not tolerate Rosen indiscriminately, but something happened that was beyond his cognition. Your understanding is against the sky. With the domineering power as the foundation, you visualize the essence of domineering, 
and combine with Zetha's explanation to successfully deduce the domineering practice method, the origin of chi body. The origin of chi body, with the absolute control of domineering power of the domineering power, the observation color, armed color, and domineering color are planted in the upper, middle, and lower dantian respectively, and transformed into three chi infants hidden in the body. The strength of the three-color domineering power can be increased through fighting, and the three-color domineering power can also be strengthened through self-cultivation of the chi infant. Domineering power is required. If others practice, the upper, middle, and lower dantians will explode and die. After a while, a piece of information suddenly appeared in Rosen's brain, waking him up from his meditation. The more you learn, the more you will learn. The origin of the chi body. Your comprehension is extraordinary. Through Zephyr's explanation, with the domineering power as the foundation, you can plant the three colors of domineering in the upper, middle, and lower dantians, and transform them into armed color chi infants, knowledge color chi infants, and domineering color chi infants. There is no need to fight. The three color chi infants will also practice domineering all the time and improve the strength of the three color domineering by themselves. After digesting the information that emerged in his mind, Rosen's eyes flashed with a gleam of light. His extraordinary comprehension is far more than he thought. Originally, he was thinking of deriving a method that can improve the strength of hockey through both training and fighting, but he never thought that he would derive the hockey version of chi body source flow. Not only can it work on observation hockey and armament hockey, but it can also be applied to conqueror hockey that can only be controlled and cannot be trained. Once the three-color hockey is transformed into a chi infant, it can not only improve the strength of hockey through fighting, but also improve the strength of hockey by practicing on its own. From this moment on, even if Rosen does not follow Luffy's route of improving by fighting, but just stays in the Navy headquarters every day, the three-color chi infant can help him practice the three-color hockey to the extreme. He doesn't know how strong this extreme is. He can only guess. It is estimated that at worst, the armament hockey is comparable to Garp, the observation hockey is comparable to Katakori, the conqueror hockey is comparable to Roger and Red Hair. As for whether the Chi body source flow has other functions, we will know it only after practicing. After all, this method of practicing domineering was just derived by Rosen, and he himself had not practiced it. Come with me. Seeing that Rosen seemed to have stopped thinking, Zepha directly pulled Rosen aside. Go ahead. Did you just comprehend any domineering skills? Perhaps Rosen's comprehension was too extraordinary, and he had too many previous convictions. When Zepha talked about comprehending domineering, Zepha directly used the word, again. It's not a skill. I just happened to comprehend a method that can improve the strength of domineering through practice. It's just like the static blood suit, it only applies to me. If others practice it, they will only practice themselves to death. Facing Zepha, Rosen did not hide too much, and slightly exposed part of the role of the source of chi. The fact that Zongguo came to teach him the domineering color entanglement yesterday was enough to prove that as long as he was good enough, there would be no such thing as a tree standing out in the forest and being destroyed by the wind in the Navy headquarters. Of course, the premise is that he must stand firmly on the side of justice. I knew it was like this. Zephyr's expression was a little numb. He had just said that the skills of hockey are practiced and the strength of hockey is fought, but after a while, Rosen broke this statement. Not only the skills, but even the strength of hockey can be practiced. Don't tell this to a third person other than me. Not even Sengoku and Garp. They can be trusted, but people outside the Navy headquarters cannot be trusted. Zepha forced himself to suppress the shock in his heart and pointed his finger upwards. Rosen understood immediately. Mariho is standing on the top of the Red Earth continent. That is, the world government. According to Zephyr, in the Navy headquarters, you can show off as you like, but you must never show off to the point that the world government is restless. Since you have figured out this method, then continue to practice, but don't give up fighting. Like you said, Fighting alone or practicing alone is not efficient enough to increase the strength of domineering. Two-pronged approach is the best for you. Seeing that Rosen understood what he meant, Zepha did not forget to remind him. Don't just practice after you have the source of chi, and don't fight. After all, in addition to improving the strength of domineering, 
Fighting can also hone domineering skills, increase experience, consciousness, and physical fitness. I want both fighting and practicing. Rosen nodded. Didn't he deduce the source of chi because he felt that relying solely on fighting to increase the strength of domineering was too inefficient? Since he has figured out the source of chi, of course he will not give up fighting to increase the strength of domineering. I'm relieved that you think so. Zepha smiled with relief, then took Rosen back to the original position and continued the class. Let's get back to the topic just now. Only actual combat can make the strength of domineering reach a higher level. So, today's class is very simple, that is, you two fight Rosen. He said to the three people in front of him. Teacher Zepha. Although it was wrong for Rosen to be distracted in class just now, you don't have to punish him like this. Gion and I teamed up to beat him up. Let's not talk about whether it's fair or not. Just say that this is not a real fight at all, but a beating. Kaji gave Rosen a look, as if to say, I'm a good friend. Teacher Zepha. To improve in real combat, we also need to be evenly matched. Two against one, will it really help us improve? Gion also said. She came to the Naval Academy to improve herself, not to suppress others. Admittedly, Rosen is better than herself, but it doesn't mean she will be jealous of him. Do you look down on Rosen too much, or do you look up to yourself too much? It is the greatest fairness for me to let you two fight one. Only two against one can prevent you from being beaten unilaterally by Rosen, which will not have any practical training effect. Zepha sneered. How is it possible? Teacher Zepha, I admit that Rosen is indeed a little ahead of me and Gion in the progress of practicing domineering, and even master the intermediate domineering color domineering, but that kind of thing can only be used to clean up the small fish. For masters of my level and Gion, it has no substantial effect at all. Kaji felt that he was underestimated and expressed strong dissatisfaction. Master. Okay, I will agree with your statement for the time being. But who told you that Rosen is only a little ahead of you, Kaji, in the progress of practicing domineering? Zepha couldn't help but laugh at Kaji when he heard this. To be honest, he favors Rosen personally, but he is definitely not partial in education. Two against one, he really considers Kaji and Gion. Only in this way can all three students grow in this class. As for armament hockey, everyone can only entangle and harden, what else is it but a little bit? That's right. This little bit is because of Rosen's domineering hockey. Kaji has a reason. I and Sengoku gave Rosen two classes yesterday. In the first class, he mastered the entanglement hardening, flow release, and internal destruction of armament hockey, and also created the fifth armament hockey technique. During the break, he awakened conqueror hockey on his own and entered the intermediate conqueror hockey level. As for the second class, he mastered the entanglement of conqueror hockey and observation hockey. Zepha raised two fingers, and at the same time did not forget to appreciate Kaji's wonderful expression changes. One sentence. Two classes, three colors of hockey, all the techniques, Rosen learned them all. Tell me, is there a little difference between the two of you? As soon as these words came out, both Kaji and Gion were stunned. Just two classes. How did Rosen learn three colors of hockey and a bunch of hockey techniques in such a short time? No. Not only did he learn all of them, he also created his own new armament hockey technique. It turns out that I didn't catch up with him, but I could only barely see his back. Gion thought of her encounter with Rosen in the dormitory corridor last night, and for the first time she felt a little bitter and powerless. She was so proud of herself before, thinking that she had caught up with the man in front of her. She never thought. She could hardly see the taillights of the car. The old man was very happy. He didn't tell me this last night, maybe he didn't want to hit me. Thinking that she had shown off in front of Rosen after she had mastered the armament hockey yesterday, Gion couldn't help but blush for her behavior. Others have mastered the three-color hockey in two classes, all the skills, but they hide them. What about me? I only mastered the hockey in one day, but I dared to show off. The more she thought about it, the more ashamed she felt. Really, is that true? Brother. Kaji turned his stiff neck and looked at Rosen pitifully. It was just luck. Rosen looked at Kaji and Gion's expressions and could only say this. Gion. Kaji. Two against one, what's the problem? Zepha was straightforward. Not at all. Teacher Zepha. 
I request to start now. Kaji glared at Rosen with gritted teeth, and his fist made a crisp sound of roasted chestnuts. He was definitely not jealous, and he didn't want to take the opportunity to beat Rosen. Clang. Gion pulled out the famous sword that Crane gave him without saying a word. Kinpira. She was definitely not jealous, she just wanted everyone to improve together. What do you mean? Zepha looked at Rosen. I have no objection. While Zepha revealed that he had mastered all the techniques of the three-color hockey, Rosen had already poured his consciousness into the three-color hockey in his body. With the fine control of hockey by the Ultra Instinct, he sent the hockey of observation into the upper Dantian, the hockey of armament into the middle Dantian, and the hockey of overlord into the lower Dantian. Although the Chi infant has not yet formed, the seeds of hockey have been planted in the Dantian, and what is needed is fighting and training as irrigation. Faced with Zephyr's proposal, Rosen not only did not resist, but was a little eager to try. He also wanted to test what he had learned yesterday and the effect of the chi body source flow he had just practiced through actual combat. Begin. Zepha flashed and retreated to the edge of the square. Almost at the moment when his voice fell, Gion and Cake attacked at the same time. Gion, use the knife, attack me in the middle. Kaji, go around and hit hard. In the moment before the two men attacked, Rosen concentrated his mind, his eyes flashed red, his observation hockey spread out, and voices emerged in his mind one after another. It was as if an invisible person was telling him about the next move of Kaji and Gion. Although it is far inferior to the foresight of the top-level observation hockey, it is like watching a movie, with sound and pictures, as if you are in the scene, but sensing the opponent's next move in advance is undoubtedly a great advantage when the opponent does not have observation hockey and the strength gap is not big especially when being besieged. After all, a single fight and a gang fight are two completely different things. Let Mr. Kai, or the Peak Whitebeard, fight against the three natural generals. If it is a 1v1 round robin battle, it is not a problem to beat two generals in a row. But if it is one bolt two, being surrounded by two or more generals at the same time, the situation is completely different. There is a gap between the generals and the emperor, but the gap is not as big as that between the admirals and vice-admirals. The two generals joined forces to not only make up for the gap between the generals and the emperors, but also gain the upper hand when facing the four emperors. Rosen is in the same situation now. Cake and Gion, if they are pulled out alone, they are not enough for him to fight with one hand. But once they join forces, the situation is completely different. Disrupt their rhythm first, and don't let them form a line. In a flash, Rosen made a decision. His eyes glared suddenly, and a chilling scarlet light bloomed in his pupils. At this moment, he is no longer a military school student who has only attended two classes, but a king. The new king who reigns over the world and looks down on the sea. Boom. The rolling domineering domineering aura, like an invisible wave, spreads in all directions, but does not affect anyone in the naval school. Even Zephyr, who was very close to Rosen, did not feel the pressure of the overlord hockey at all. Only Gion and Cake. When Rosen's eyes flashed with scarlet light, the two felt a heavy pressure, like a raging sea, hitting their spirits one after another. Although they could not cause substantial damage and would not be knocked unconscious, their movements were inevitably affected. Whether it was the sword that Gion was about to slash out, or the punch that Kike placed on his side, ready to strike at any time, they all showed a moment of sluggishness. Boom. Just at this moment, Rosen lunged forward like a tiger descending the mountain. The armed domineering energy in his body surged like a river, flowing to his right arm. He wrapped and hardened his fist, and then charged forward with a cannon punch. Clang. When the fists and knives collided, there was no sound of the sharp blade entering the flesh. Instead, there were sparks and the harsh collision sound of golden iron. Gion only felt a majestic force coming from the palm holding the knife, as if the person punching him was not a person smaller than himself, but a giant more than 20 meters tall. Boom. The tyrannical domineering force, coupled with the power of her fists, all exploded, causing her to hold the famous sword Jinpyra tightly, and the right arm hanging in front of her body was shaken and opened to the right along with the sword in her hand. This moment, the central gate of Gion is wide open, with no defense at all. Seeing this, Rosen lunged forward, and his left fist, which had been prepared for attack, was sent out like a cannonball, hitting the lower abdomen directly under his huge conscience. 
Although the big conscience is more eye-catching, easier to hit, and can even cause more serious damage, it is just a competition, there is no need to use a fatal blow. Don't even think about it. Gion noticed Rosen's intention, and although he felt a little grateful in his heart, his body movements were not affected at all. I saw her long legs in high heels stepping hard on the ground, leaving a sunken spiderweb crack on the square that was repaired yesterday, and then her body used the force to retreat, as if it was tied to a four-string, dragging it forward. Flying backwards. Brother Rosen. Do not forget. This is two against one. At this time, Jaji had also ducked around to Rosen's left side, and his fist, wrapped and hardened by the armed domineering energy, was like a discharged cannonball, carrying a sharp wind and heading straight for his neck. Before the punch came, Rosen could already feel the strong wind bursting from Jaji's fist. He knew very well that if he hadn't shocked Kaji with his overlord look from the beginning, this punch would have hit his neck when he was fighting Gion's sword, and he wouldn't have felt it until now. The wind of the fist hit his face. The distance is not enough. Wrong. Teacher Zephyr said that he has mastered all three colors of hockey and all the techniques. Seeing that Rosen's fist was still about one meter away from him, Gion thought so at first, and then reacted suddenly. If the positions of the two parties were reversed, the distance between the punch and the punch would indeed be insufficient, but when it comes to Rosen, this distance is still within the range of the opponent's domineering strike. As expected, Rosen's left arm was completely sent out, and after it was completely straightened, it still couldn't touch Gion's abdomen. There was still a distance of more than two meters, but the air at the front of the fist rippled in circles, as if it had been thrown into a stone. The lake surface is average. Then, boom. With the fist as the center, a domineering shock wave was like a dam bursting, a flash flood erupting, shooting out from the fist, instantly spanning the distance to Gion, like a white rainbow penetrating the sun, bombarding her abdomen. The more you move, the more you move. Teacher Zephyr is serious. Not only does he have the ability to release the armament hockey, he has also mastered the advanced armament hockey technique of internal destruction. Gion's pretty face changed slightly. Although she used armament hockey to harden her abdomen at the first time, it was useless. In other words, she could defend against attacks from outside the body, but not from attacks from inside the body. The moment Rosen's hockey shock wave touched her abdomen, she felt a force penetrate her abdomen hardened by armament hockey, and then entered her body to attack and destroy. HMPH. After being hit by a punch that combined the two armament hockey techniques of flowing external release and internal destruction, Gion couldn't help but groan, his feet immediately left the ground, and his body flew backwards dozens of meters away like an arrow from a bow. It's all the conqueror hockey just now. If Rosen hadn't interfered with him with conqueror hockey for a moment, he wouldn't have had the chance to release hockey to attack Gion. Cake couldn't help cursing in his heart when he saw this scene, but he had no choice but to grit his teeth and smash his fist wrapped in armament hockey on Rosen's neck. This punch was real, even if Rosen learned all three colors of hockey, all the techniques would definitely not be easy. After all, as Zephyr said, hockey skills are not equal to hockey strength. Everyone mastered armament hockey on the first day, and there might be a huge gap in skills, but in terms of strength, he felt that there was absolutely no difference between him and Rosen. He didn't believe that Rosen had only attended two classes, and the time of the two classes was all spent on learning the skills of domineering. He still had time to improve the strength of domineering. What are you going to do? At this moment, standing at the edge of the square, Zephyr also stared at Rosen with burning eyes. Is it too late to defend, and can only passively take the beating? Or use the devil fruit ability that has never been used? Rosen directly answered Zephyr's speculation with action. Facing Kaji's right fist like a heavy artillery, Rosen did not dodge, nor did he use the weapon fruit, but stood in place, just twisted his neck, and then under Kaji's stunned eyes, with his fragile neck in the human body, he took the iron fist hardened by his domineering. Bang! Accompanied by the loud sound of the cannon, a circle of violent air waves burst out from the collision between Rosen's neck and Kaji's fist, rolling up waves of flying sand and rocks. Crack! The ground beneath their feet could not bear the weight, and cracked into shocking cracks. However, after bearing Kaji's heavy punch, Rosen did not even shake his body, like a magic needle that stabilizes the sea, firmly rooted in the same place. Impossible. 
Cake's pupils shrank when he saw this scene, but he immediately saw that the place where his fist hit, that is, Rosen's neck, had lines of purple light. It's not the hardening of armament hockey, nor is it the flow of external release and internal destruction. What is this? By the way, this should be what Zephyr teacher said, Rosen's self-created fifth armament hockey technique, but it's not right, technique is technique, strength is strength. Especially when he punched Gion just now, he also used most of his hockey. How could he mobilize so much hockey in a hurry and evolve such a defensive power? Very quickly. Kaji reacted. Skin, muscles and bones, use the two techniques of entanglement and hardening to improve defense. Inject armament hockey into blood vessels, and use static blood suit to evolve substantial defense. Inside and outside are the same, and hockey is hard to hurt. Seeing this scene, Zepha was also surprised at the static blood suit that Rosen had comprehended. He knew very well that whether it was entanglement hardening or static blood suit, if one was twisted out alone, it would definitely not be able to defend against Kaji's punch. Just as Kaji thought, Rosen had to use part of his hockey to attack Gion at the same time. But the problem was that Rosen's hockey skills were too far ahead. Skin, muscles, and bones can be entangled and hardened with armament hockey. Blood vessels can be injected with armament hockey to evolve defense. Inside and outside are the same. Push the body's internal and external defense to the extreme. If Kaji's hockey was several times stronger than Rosen's, he could use his absolute hockey to hurt Rosen and even break his defense, but the problem is that he doesn't have hockey of this strength. On the other hand, Rosen's hockey is as strong as Kaji's, and his hockey skills are far ahead of Kaji's. Especially, it is the combination of the three skills of armament hockey, entanglement, hardening, and stasis blood suit, which evolve the defense together and produce the effect of 1 plus 1 plus 1 greater than 3. Skin, muscle, bone, blood vessel. Three skills. Four lines of defense. What can Kaji use to break the defense? Forget about breaking the defense. He can't even hurt Rosen. Unless Kaji's armament hockey strength is more than twice that of Rosen, and he masters the two armament hockey skills of flowing external release and internal destruction, he can't break the defense at all. Zepha observed from the side and came to the conclusion. This is the lead brought by one more skill of armament hockey. This is also the reason why the admirals are generally inferior to the four emperors. The four emperors not only have one more skill called conqueror hockey entanglement than the admirals, but also have one more conqueror hockey than the admirals. Sure enough, the static blood suit, combined with the two techniques of entanglement and hardening, evolves defense together. The armament hockey of the same strength can't break my defense at all. Rosen was hit by Kaji's punch on his neck, which is so vulnerable. Not only did he stand still, but he didn't feel any pain at the place where he was hit. Entanglement, hardening, external release, internal destruction, and static blood suit. I have tried the five techniques of armament hockey and observation hockey. The only thing missing is domination hockey. Rosen's mind turned, and the domination hockey in his body surged out like a hidden dragon emerging from the abyss, turning into black and red lightning that entangled his right foot, and then he stepped on his left foot and his right foot rose from the ground. Swish. The right foot wrapped with domination hockey, like a black dragon with fangs and claws, surrounded by the majestic pressure that distorted the atmosphere, went straight to Kaji. This is definitely not armament hockey. When Kaji saw Rosen's right foot wrapped in domineering hockey, he got goose bumps all over his body. Without waiting for Rosen to move his legs, he kicked the ground with both feet one after another like a cat whose tail was stepped on, and retreated like a monkey, trying to distance himself. Indeed, the distance was finally pulled away. Rosen's right foot wrapped in domineering hockey, even if it was completely kicked out, the height difference between 2 meters and 3 meters, plus Kaji's retreat speed was not slow at all, made his kick always about half a meter away from Kaji. Dodged. Kaki saw this, and just as this thought came to his mind, he saw that Rosen's right foot wrapped in black and red lightning suddenly burst out with terrifying power, and the suffocatingly strong pressure directly crossed the gap between the two people and reached his chest. Bang. Kaji's facial features twisted, he looked down in disbelief, and found that his chest, clothes and skin, were visibly twisted. Not only that, 
Black lightning dancing like a flying dragon had swept from Rosen's right foot to his body before bursting out with a devastating impact. The sky was full of smoke, and the sky was full of dust. Wow! Kaji screamed, and in mid-air, he spurted out a stream of scarlet blood before landing. Then his body flew backwards like a cannonball, carrying a circle of spiral air waves, and finally fell on the ground of the square. Bang! Crack! Accompanied by the sound of heavy objects falling to the ground, with Kaji's landing as the center, cracks extended around like pythons. The square was like a dry riverbed, cracking into spider web cracks, and bursts of smoke and dust rose from the ground along the cracks, turning into dust pillars and rushing straight into the sky. Is this the domineering color entanglement? Kaji was lying in a deep pit, and he felt his eyelids were extremely heavy and it was difficult to open his eyes. The brain was like being hit by a mountain, with a splitting headache and a spinning head. This feeling was very similar to being shocked by Rosen's Conqueror Hockey before, but the power was very different. If the power of simply releasing Conqueror Hockey was only 10, then using Conqueror Hockey entanglement would be more than 100. Fully releasing the power of Conqueror Hockey. It was no longer the qualification of a king, nor was it a skill to clear small soldiers. It was a symbol of becoming a king. Can't get up. On the other side, Gion, who got up from the ground with a knife as a crutch, saw Kaji lying dead on the ground after being hit by Rosen's Conqueror Hockey Entanglement, as if his health bar was emptied in an instant and it was difficult to get up. She couldn't help but feel a chill in her heart. Although she had only known Kaji for one day, she had the same height as a general, and they both learned the hardening of armament hockey entanglement in just one day, so she had a very clear understanding of Kaji's strength. That is not weaker than me. But what about now? She was just kicked and died. In other words, if she was in Kaji's position and was entangled by Rosen's domineering color, her fate would definitely not be much better than Kaji. Is this Rosen's strength? Teacher Zephyr, you are wrong. Even if it is two to one, it is still the biggest injustice for us. Gion looked at Rosen standing proudly in the center of the square. For the first time, she felt what absolute oppression was. Even if she joined forces with Kaji, she was still crushed and defeated by Rosen with a crushing force. Let me see. How much does fighting improve domineering? No, it should be said that how much does the source of chi work? After punching Gion and kicking Kaji, Rosen retracted his legs and stood up. He did not continue to attack the two, but poured his consciousness into the domineering in his body. At this glance, he found that the three-color domineering aura that was originally like three balls of light, respectively entrenched in his upper, middle, and lower dantian, had undergone visible changes. After actual combat, whether it was the color of observation, the color of armed, or the color of overlord, the surface of the three air masses had become three different colors of chi infants, respectively entrenched in the upper, middle, and lower dantian. By pouring his consciousness into the chi infants, Rosen could clearly feel that the three chi infants were making movements similar to breathing. After each breath, he found that his three-color domineering aura would be slightly improved. Not only that, after the three-color domineering aura turned into the three-color chi infant, in addition to self-cultivation, which can gradually improve the strength of domineering aura, the effect of improving the strength of domineering aura through combat has also been greatly enhanced. Just like now, your comprehension is against the sky. Through the first battle, combined with the cultivation of the source of chi, the strength of the three-color domineering aura has been improved. The strength of the domineering aura of armed color has increased by 30%. Intensity of observation hockey increased by 20%. Intensity of conqueror hockey increased by 20%. A series of information appeared in Rosen's mind. He was thoughtful. Is it because armament hockey is used the most times in battle? So among the three colors of hockey, armament hockey has the greatest increase in strength. After experiencing the effect of chi body origin flow, Rosen was extremely satisfied with the hockey cultivation method he created. It was just one battle. All three colors of hockey have been improved visible to the naked eye. What if it happens a few more times? Moreover, he also found that it is not only battles that can make the three colors of hockey have an immediate improvement effect, but the self-cultivation of chi infants can actually do it. The premise is that something is needed. That is nutrition. Huge amounts of nutrition. Thinking of this, Rosen suddenly had an impulse. 
No class, go to the cafeteria first. Let's go. Let's stop here. Let's go to the cafeteria to eat something first. I have asked someone to prepare meat made from sea kings for you. Seeing that Gion was ready to fight again with his sword, Zepha spoke up to end the sparring. Kaji was already lying dead, and Gion was not in good condition. Continuing the sparring would have no effect at all, and would only hurt the body. It would be better to rest, replenish nutrition, and then continue to practice domineering skills in the afternoon. Of course, this is the arrangement for Gion and Kaji, but Rosen is different. As Zepha said at the beginning, this class is the last class that Gion and Kaji can take with Rosen. Meat made from sea kings. Rosen was moved when he heard this. Sea kings. It can be said to be a major feature of the pirate world, and it is also the strongest race in this sea in the true sense. Even the most ordinary sea kings are more than 100 meters long. Some super large sea kings can only be measured in kilometers, and the giants are just pocket toys in front of them. The sea king meat that Zepha mentioned cannot be super large sea kings, but even ordinary sea kings are definitely nutritious beyond imagination. Most suitable for the cultivation of chi body source flow. Are you still alive, master? Zeph walked in front of Kaji, looked down at him, and did not forget to tease him. Teacher Zepha, you are wrong. Even if Gion and I fight against Brother Rosen alone, it is the greatest injustice to us. Kaji supported himself with his hands, stood up, shook his dizzy head, and then had a sad expression on his face. Speaking of which, it's all my fault for misjudging. I didn't expect it. Your strength as a master is far less than what you said. Zef was still thinking about Kaji's claim to be a master before. Hearing this, Kaji could only smile bitterly. I will never pretend again. Especially when Rosen is around. Let's go. Let's go eat. Although Zepha teased Kaji, he still checked his body seriously. After confirming that Kaji had no major problems, he took Rosen and the other two to the cafeteria. In the Navy cafeteria, whether it was the teachers who were eating or the staff who were distributing the food, they all stared at the pile of plates on the table not far away. To be precise, it was the black-haired boy in front of the two mountains of plates. Ten minutes. He ate a full 100 kilograms of meat. He's still eating. Is his stomach connected to the sea? Although Mr. Sakaski, Mr. Borsellino, and Mr. Kuzan also had big appetites when they were in the military academy, they were not as exaggerated as him. The people present were more and more shocked when they saw Rosen eating 100 kilograms of sea king meat in 10 minutes, and he was still eating, no, it should be said that he was mopping up. Eat slowly. There's plenty of meat. Seeing that Rosen's mopping speed did not slow down at all, Zepha could only add one sentence. After hearing that there was plenty of meat, Rosen's mopping speed slowed down, and he also had time to pay attention to Gion and Cake beside him. Why don't you eat? Seeing that both of them were holding cutlery, but there was nothing in front of them, he couldn't help but ask curiously. I want to eat too. But every time the dish is served, I don't know why the dish of meat has already entered your stomach. Veins popped out on Kaji's forehead. After being kicked by Rosen with his domineering color, he still wanted to come to the cafeteria to replenish his food. As a result, he sat there for a full 10 minutes. Apart from being able to see the meat with his eyes, he couldn't eat it with his mouth at all. Call a few more chefs. Seeing this, Zepha could only use his authority as the chief instructor and principal to call a few chefs. With the addition of new forces, the speed of serving food in the cafeteria has been immediately improved. After Rosen ate about 150 kilograms of food, Gion and Kaji finally had their first bite of meat. Eat until you are 70% full. The meat is so delicious that it is not easy to eat. A meal starts at 150 kilograms of meat. You call this 70% full. Kaji almost choked when he heard that Rosen showed off more than 150 kilograms of sea king meat and said he was only 70% full. Although his appetite is not small, he starts with 30 kilograms of meat for each meal, but the maximum is about 50 kilograms, unlike Rosen. No need to be surprised. What do you think the improvement of physical fitness and domineering relies on? Both fighting and exercising require huge amounts of nutrition as support, otherwise you will only train yourself to death. Zepha is not surprised by this. As the intensity of training and fighting continues to increase, your appetite will also continue to increase. 
At that time, it may be a bit exaggerated to eat a sea king in one meal, but a whole tiger is probably just enough for you to eat. As a former admiral of the navy, even though he is old and rarely goes to the front line, Zephyr's domineering and physical fitness are there after all, and his own appetite is not small at all. Teacher Zephyr. According to what you said, when we graduate and go out on missions, won't we have to put hundreds of tons of meat in the warship? Kaji couldn't help but say. It's better to do this. Of course, if there is none, it doesn't matter. The ocean beneath our feet is not short of food, and the more powerful the sea kings, the higher the nutritional value of their meat. Zepha raised his foot and stepped on the ground. Let me put it this way, if you eat ordinary beef, you have to eat at least 100 kilograms in one meal. For Rosen, you need 300 to 500 kilograms of meat, but if you change to sea kings, you don't need so much. Take the meal you ate today as an example. It's just the most common and smallest sea king meat, but you still only need to eat about one-third of the amount of beef, which is 20 to 30 kilograms, and for Rosen, it's less than 200 kilograms. If it's a medium or large sea king, the nutritional value will be higher and the weight will be less. Zephyr's words made Gion and Cake feel relieved. Anyway, neither of them is a power user. If they need food, they can go to the surface of the sea and get everything. Sea King. Rosen was relieved after hearing this. Although he was a person with special abilities and could not go directly into the sea, there were ways to hunt sea kings. Thinking of this, he focused on the three-color domineering in his body. Although he had lost nearly 200 kilograms of meat in 10 minutes, Rosen found that his stomach was only bulging a little, just like an ordinary person who had a full meal, and was not bulging like a balloon. Even. He could clearly feel that his bulging stomach was slowly shrinking at a slow speed. At the same time, three subtle heat currents flowed to three places in the body at the same time. Your comprehension is against the sky. By eating a lot and combining the cultivation of the source of chi, the strength of the three color domineering is improved. The strength of the armed color domineering is increased by 10%. The strength of the observation color domineering is increased by 10%. The strength of the domineering color domineering is increased by 5%. After Rosen felt the improvement of the three color domineering spirit, a smile appeared on his face. Eating. Eating a lot. And it was highly nutritious food. This is the way that the chi infant can practice on its own and can also improve the strength of the domineering spirit immediately. Although it is still not as big as the improvement brought by fighting, it is also very considerable. After all, he can't fight every day, but he must eat every day, and at least three meals a day. The improvement of eating three meals, plus the three-color chi infant's 24-hour uninterrupted practice of domineering spirit. You can say that, even if Rosen does not fight or do any type of training, but just eats and sleeps every day, the three-color domineering spirit will still increase. Compared with other monsters that can only rely on fighting to improve their domineering spirit, this increase is still more than enough. The three chi infants seem to have grown a little. Wait. Why do I feel that the speed of chi infants' cultivation of hockey has increased? Through the hockey ultra intention, Rosen poured his consciousness into the armament hockey in his body and could clearly see the changes in the chi infants. The previous battle with Kaji and Gion, plus the meal of sea king meat just now, he found that the chi infants in the three Dantians had all grown a circle larger than when they first started. The most important thing is that after the chi infants grew larger, the speed of their own hockey cultivation was actually faster. If the previous cultivation speed of the chi infant was plus 1 domineering per second, then now it is plus 1.5 domineering per second. It seems that it is not even doubled, but don't forget that the chi infant does not need to sleep and can cultivate non-stop for 24 hours. That is equivalent to Rosen's three-color domineering, from the previous domineering plus one per second to the current domineering plus 1.5 per second. It doesn't take years, just one day, the improvement is already very huge. The stronger the domineering, the faster the chi infant cultivates. It seems that I have to eat well in the future, and every meal must be meat made by sea kings. In this case, others need to risk their lives to improve their domineering, but for me, as long as I eat well, the strength of my domineering can increase. Rosen felt the changes in the three-color chi infant and was very satisfied. This is the correct way to open the three-color domineering. Tell me about it. What have you gained from the fight just now? Or, 
what do you think is your biggest shortcoming? Seeing that Rosen and the other two had eaten and drunk enough, Zepha took them to his office. Not only did he let them have a good rest, but he was also helping them summarize the battle to pave the way for the next course. Gion, you go first. Zeph looked at Gion. The technique of armament hockey. If I can release it in a flowing way, when Rosen attacks me, I can release my hockey first, and before his armament hockey touches my body, I can offset most of the attack from a distance, so that I won't be knocked down by one blow. Of course, the most important thing is the observation hockey. Gion pondered for a moment, and then expressed his opinion. Rosen can face me and cake at the same time, and he can still have the upper hand, because of the observation hockey. He can anticipate the enemy's moves and prepare in advance, for example, he used conqueror hockey to disrupt the attack rhythm of me and Kaji at the beginning, then seize the fleeting time difference to repel me first, and then use the three armament hockey techniques that he had prepared early, namely, stasis blood suit and entanglement hardening, to defend against Kaji's attack, and finally used conqueror hockey entanglement's kicking technique to kill Kaji and end the battle with one blow. Quote. The reason why Kaji and I were defeated by Rosen with one punch and one kick, and lost so badly, was at least 50% because we didn't know observation hockey. As soon as she finished speaking, Kaji nodded in agreement. Teacher Zepha. Let's not talk about the armament hockey technique. If Gion and I knew observation hockey, we would definitely not lose so badly. Fighting for a while longer, or even letting Rosen take a few more punches, is not a problem at all. Kaji pinched his chin and said unwillingly. Just now when he was eating, he was reviewing the fight with Rosen. The difference in strength is inevitable, but after all, it is two against one, and everyone has just come into contact with hockey, so they should not be defeated by a punch or a kick. Right. Observation hockey is your biggest shortcoming at this stage. So, go and practice observation hockey in the afternoon. I have already arranged a place for you to practice observation hockey, and someone will take you there when the time comes. Zeph's words made Gion and Cake's eyes shine. Seeing this, Rosen nodded secretly. A famous teacher is a famous teacher. It seems that Gion and Cake are asked to summarize, but in fact, they have already seen the shortcomings of the two and arranged the next courses in advance. It's your turn, Rosen. After arranging Gion and Cake's afternoon classes, Zephyr set his sights on Rosen. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support our channel.